Welcome to the finals of the spell for free. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Welcome to the finals of the Paragon's Return League. I think we're having a little bit of a lag spike situation, but it should be fine. In the pink color, we have got Levatus or Lavantus as the humans going with the Royal Mage and teleporting forward. On the other side, we've got in the green color, our troll main, Saitama. Going with the Plague Bringer. Build order wise, we're looking at a double woodcutter, hunting cabin, and stone cutter. And for the trolls, we're looking at a double hunting hut, a triple tree chopper, and one stone breaker. This is used to. There's more available workers, but he wants to upgrade the forward banner first. Makes sense. Early Smasher is out as well already. And once at level 2, the Plaguebringer could technically go to harass workers, but I think he's going to want to do a little bit more. Yeah, this league has been in the making all year. It's middle of May now, so that's quite a bit. And you are looking at the best two players. Now, obviously, Galactic and Don Hyperion had a close running as well. So, huge congratulations to them for their fourth and third place, respectively. But this is all about who gets first and second in this one. So, 200 bucks will be going to the winner, then 150 to the second place. Making for a grand total of 500. All thanks to the anonymous donator who made this Shots entire leak happen. Let's get to work. Plaguebringer versus Royal Mage directly. Uh, I think I like the Royal Mage's chances. He's up a level after all. Has an extra ability. Let's see what else he's gonna do about that smasher. Ooh! Hitting quite hard there. But anyway, the stone cutter workers, two of them have been killed already. Building gets belled, and the woodcutter ones are the next. Like we're shopping for something. Potions only? Wow, he's got seven potions, man. That's brutal. Lavantus has had enough. He's buying himself the weapon to do more damage to this guy. But the single target damage is not going to be all that crazy. So Saitama is going to be around a while here. That's for sure. He just wants to disrupt this economy here. And so far doing a pretty good job of it too. Guard Totem will be helping a little. We got Infantryman versus Smasher fight. That's a heavy, heavy win for the Smasher. Uh, yeah. Workers already threatened again. Doesn't look like the Royal Mage will shoot this away anytime soon. In fact, he's having to chuck potions as well. Saitama still has four more potions. The Vatu is just one. That's a problem. He doesn't have any gold. See if he can pick off a smasher though. I think he can. There it is. Very nice. This Plaguebringer can just do this all day. Huge issue. Huge issue. Hunting cabins or hunting huts being made now up front. For Saitama means that he's gonna have more and more food income. Which means he can make more and more smashers. No problem. Plague 
We're gonna take quite a bit of a beating. Oh boy. But also denying so much economy. Like, look at all these dead workers. That's not some damage that Lavatus can easily ignore. I realize that he's juggled the workers into a different building now. I'm making it harder to reach for the Plaguebringer. But the Royal Mage can take the 1v1 still. Uh, once he got the Plaguebringer on the last potion is he's, he's okay right now both of them on zero gold there's no gold to be gained from the workers they're well they're as you might expect not very well off financially free smashers actually going for the scouting post I would not expect that not until there's at least five of them even then, it's a close one. Workers going down again for Levatus. This is a bit of a disaster. The man just can't get that many buildings going. Got 28 food, but... The barracks are only now finishing. He doesn't have any stolen income right this second. Okay, Saitama finally done with this. He's now gonna go for the undead, and then he can loop back around for the Medusa. If Vatus had units, he could do something about it, but the fact is that Saitama has 30 population to just 8. That's how good this worker harassment was. Uh, that's how unable Lovatus has been to make any actual units, and without Arbalist production, he's gonna be in a tough spot against Meshers, as the infantrymen just aren't that good of an answer. Almost decided to teleport. Like I said, five smashers. The magic number. It's dicey though with defenders. You're not gonna want to stay. It's like time I'm heading back now. Got a little bit of gold, so you can spend that on potions again. Two potions. That should be two health potions for sure. He's gonna get a focus potion anyway from the Medusa, so... Good time to go for it. Still chance to get for a little bit of harassment, splitting up the the trolls pretty good there. Mugwoop raise. We got the scrapper as well. On the job. Not that much food available right now, so one is definitely enough. We can make another later. Everyone going for the back sectors. Lavatus a little bit ahead of that game. And already going for the Medusa. I wonder if he's gonna be able to um, actually threaten Saitama's Medusas, but I think not. These smashers make quick work of them for sure. Um, they don't particularly have that much strike resist. Okay, Lovatus is done with the Medusas, but there's no way he can do anything about this. So, an equalized game in terms of um, creeping. And I guess in terms of population, Lovatus has really been exploding since the early game. I uh, would love to see him be being able to finish off the remaining bases. Is he gonna chance it with the Adamantium Golem? Oh my. Saitama, I think, smells it. He knows what Lovatus likes to do. These guys have played a thousand games together at least, so... They're gonna know exactly uh, each other's little moves like this. In fact, he's seen him do it in this tournament three times, so I'm a little bit surprised that Lovatus still keeps going for it, despite of that. Uh, the Congo line has been spotted. Saitama should know exactly now what's happening. And punishing the Adamantium Golem should be at the... Uh, Forefront of his mind, but I guess Lovatus is pulling back to defend, so maybe not. Maybe just having the confidence to use your uh, six smashers to 
push is also important to have. <laughs> Picks off an infantryman for free. Might as well. Second scrap port's coming up. Two scrap ports will be able to support the income from free scrappers and process that. That's probably the way to go now. And I guess nobody's gonna have that golem very easily. As for skills, we've got a very standard kit on uh, the Plaguebringer, but he also has this one, a uh, tiring attack. So that's gonna weaken all of Levatus' units when hit. And Levatus has both Ice Might and Fire Might, as well as Biting Frost. Looking to do a little bit of damage now, but I think Saitama suspects it. Doesn't have vision on this. But he's coming back for a different reason. He's getting skull crushers. Doesn't have a lot of resources, but it's enough. So these guys get trained up pretty quick. Shouldn't be much of an issue. Takes like one second to upgrade. Takes exactly one second. I have to tribe now under attack. I don't think Lovatus wants to take the fight against Skull Crushers. Best get away from this. Yeah, I agree. Going for a far adamantium golem wouldn't be a bad idea. He's even retreating these units to uh, this side, making it look like he's not doing it. Never mind, he's changed. He's changed his opinion on these matters. And Saitama could just be rolling up and do some major damage hmm, let's see adamantium golem or outpost which will it be Levatus checking on the golem again that's a pretty straight path I think they're going for the golem both of them time has come Tell you what, the level 6 Royal Mage is pretty spooky though. If anything can do it. He's the one. Oh, that spin to win is hurting a lot. 10 bleeding per second there on the infantryman. So better debuff that golem. This one's getting severely debuffed as well. Skull Crusher is getting pulled back, of course. Saitama almost never misses his beats on that. And we've got the level 6 Royal Mage. And we're about to have the level 6 Plaguebringer as well. So let's see what items they are getting. Looks like the Omnipotence Amulet. It's 400 extra health for the hero. Um, and for Levatus, he also got the same amulet but didn't equip it yet. Hopefully he does. It's very important against trolls to have that hit point. Um, we've got Biting Frost level 2, we've got Starfall, we got Absorb the Elements, and we've got Spark level 2. As for Saitama, uh, he's currently shopping. Got himself his tier 3 armor. And he's not spent his points yet, so that should be happening momentarily. Doesn't look like he can force Lovatus to teleport that. He's finally got his Plague Orb, as well as his Corpse Harvest too. Uh, but for now, he was frozen for a second there. Come on, Skull Crusher dies. And I think Levatus has had enough. <laughs> He's out of here. Okay, we have three scrappers, four scrappers, five scrappers. My god, what is going on? That's definitely oversaturating the, the scrap boards. Ooh! -hoo -hoo! The Skull Crushers can get to work and we see a Corpse Explosion, that should be enormous. I think we might have a... Hero dead? Corpse Explosion? No Meteor to be seen anywhere. Uh, he didn't actually use the Meteor. Lavatus is in so much trouble right now. Saitama at 143 population versus 81. Having killed a lot of humans just now. I think he can just keep attacking at this point. Be 
what is Levatus really going to do to help out here? I mean, being on tier 2, I could imagine seeing maybe a bunch of keepers to try to hold against the skull crushers. That might work. But he doesn't have the infrastructure for it. Like, these are normal barracks. It's gonna be really tough. The Royal Mage comes back. He's trying to cast uh, the Meteor on these boys, which does some damage, but nowhere near enough. We actually have Wall Breakers. We have another Corpse Explosion coming in. And several infantrymen have been killed off once more. Saitama so can just get out of here and enjoy his little victory. But I guess he might be overstaying his welcome. We'll see how that goes. 125 population to 60 though, so maybe it's okay. Several of the Arbalists have been picked off. Suddenly 30 population for Levatus. Oh my god. Well, I guess... I guess he's good to go. Just take the sector. That's reduced Levatus' ability to train units now. And from there it should be a relatively simple push to either side. These are just frontier outposts, not fortified. Troll good unit. Heard it here first. And there's a lot more coming across the map, I'm sure. Love the scrap has been gobbled up already. Still 168 left here. There's some up there. Uh, Lovatus has only normal barracks. Yeah, guys, I don't know. Our keeper is going to be worth it against trolls. I could imagine it might work. They're pretty tanky boys. Certainly more tanky than infantry, man. Ooh, the Starfall in the middle, but Saitama with the perfect split. Of course, only one of his skull crushers actually gets hit. He's maxed that. I'm not sure what Levatus can do at this point. There's several wall breakers. So these sectors will just absolutely disappear. Can't teleport in to save this either. That would be suicide. And I think Levatus is just gonna GG out. He's not even gonna try. Too many big boys with big sticks. Look at that, boys. We're in for some fun. Laventus is going to be playing as the Dark Elves, using the Reaper. And on the other side, playing as the Humans, we have got Saitama. Blue color. Has a Wolfguard Commander. Does it every game. Should be able to pick off that Scout, maybe. Uh, no focus. We're out of focus. Gotta go for the Bandits, then. Spectre will be following around. She only has 300 HP these days. Not particularly strong. I think the scout died somewhere. Looks like he ran into the revenants. That was a donation indeed. So basically most of the damage was done by the reaper. Which means he gets some XP of that. Skeleton Simba. <laughs> Nerf the skeleton faction. But gathering on hard rock is uh, pretty efficient, you might say. It's already pre-chopped up. Look at that. Very little uh, movement time involved. It's just like stone. Every other map you have to chop the live trees and the trees keep disappearing, obviously. This map is the exception. Hmm, let's see who gets north first. Looks like it might actually be Levatus. No, 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 it's Saitama. He was faster. 
the Spectre won't be able to slow. Spiders in the way though, and only the owner will be able to plant the flag. Spectre is free. Spider wasting a little time for the Wolfguard Commander. She's still slowed by the mind invasion of the Spectre. And this Dark Ensign should be able to go up without any issue from here. So Saitama does the best thing he can. Uh, just going after Undead. Speeding up the creeping process, not letting Levatus get too far ahead with the extra sectors. Makes a lot of sense, really. Getting helped here by as much as five undead. The Reaper generally creeps at a pretty good speed. Now gonna be going after the Revenants. Two more workers are available, so if he wants to slap down a Hall of Pain, he can do so. He already has three sectors after all, that's good enough. Uh, he's not doing it though. He's getting another sector first. Not very often that you see Dark Elves going up to four sectors before Hall of Pain. But we got it this time. Anyways. In the middle, the Revenants are already working on the scouting post. And it's been spotted. In fact, Lavantus is doing his best to pull them all in. But if the Wolfguard Commander gets on that, he's actually not going to have a fairly good time. Where is the Reaper? He's dead. Uh, he's a pile of blood. That's not good. That is not good. Gives a lot of opportunity to the Wolfguard commander. Oh no. Poor Lavatus. That did not work out the way he wanted. Guarantee that. Wolfguard commander having a pretty good time in the middle against the Revenants now. It's uninterrupted, right? The whole idea behind this... Is that you go and interrupt it with your own army, own hero, steal XP, meanwhile the base has to be repaired, which is expensive. The hero gets beaten up, which is also expensive in potions. Now here he is, but a little late to the party. Should be a free steal of one potion at least. I think Lovatus wants more from this. He's got teleport out. Oh no. That's so much XP here for Zaitama. If you're completely undisturbed, this is actually ideal. Oh boy. Tough stuff, man. I think Zaitama might go all the way to level 5 with this. He's got these left. Have to work on those as well, but... You know. By the time everything's done. That's all he really needed. That was just going with the sector game for now. We better hope he has his double weakening. No, he only has one weakening and three points in deep waters. Ah. Uh, at least if he had double weakening, I could see him coming back with... Mass infiltrators and double weakening on the wolf card commander that could totally work, but level four against level five without that, yikes! That's a tough sell. Doesn't look like he wants the south sector. There's one hidden here, which we can see, a free, see from his view. I think it's 300 food over there. Or is it 250? I don't remember. It's a good amount of food. 
Maybe someone in the chat knows. Anyway, got a weakening on the wolf card commander that will also enfeeble her. Weakening that attack. Wow, all the way down to 101. Not bad. Reaper will have to get back what he can here. Every little bit will count. But if Saitama comes in and picks off several infiltrators and then the scouting post finishes up and then he's got level 5. Oh, this Reaper is in for a tough ride. The way out of here is fraught with danger. Saitama will probably just do a Shadow Strike too, slow down the Reaper and then Earth Shatter him. Oh god. Even a Fatal Blow gets delivered. Oh, gets a teleport out. That was a freebie. How are we doing for XP? Oh my goodness. Just the beginning of level 4. Satama will be like level 5.5 .5 by the end of this. He's exactly 5.5. .5. And then some. Ooh, that's tough. That's really tough. Chop chop man. Dude, how is Lovatus gonna come back from this? He's like equal population with Saitama right now. Got the extra sector, so that's something. But this sector is literally so it's just 200 meat? Oh, yo, that's not great. Okay, we got two Hoss of Pain, so that's a total of three, I think. It's not bad. It's a Frontier Post, at least. So this should be quite defendable. Lovato's cutting ahead in population now. Ah, that should work. So long as these are all Frontier Posts, it should be possible to get things done. Maybe destroying hunting cabin is an option. Killing the workers as well is nice. Every time he does so, it's 5 XP, so it's not nothing. But now, uh, the Wolfcart commander has her bedding dress and the full snipe on the hero, I think might actually pay off. Reaper is at 41 health. Earthshatter catches several of the infiltrators. They're not gonna get out of there. That's just savagery. Suddenly, the population is equal. And Saitama has not lost anything except like one infi. Sorry, uh, one infantryman. Let's not confuse him. Tier 2 is coming in for Lovatus. This is really the way he can bring it back uh, by getting sleepers out. The sleepers will then hard counter Arbalist and infantryman, but until then, he has to hold, which is a tall order. Getting the front fortified post is important that will help a ton for sure look at these infantrymen already struggling with the shots now that's gonna get a lot better in a moment so if he can keep this up and not lose the iron mines that's huge A decent avoiding there. Ton of infiltrators still getting caught though. Dude, he just lost four infiltrators. Brutal. See if he can pick up some infantry. Maybe three of them I think here are easy pickings. Oh, he lets that go. 22 health. Saitama is at 100 population. Currently making more billets. It's tier 2 as well. And no doubt working on iron mines as well. He's already got several of them up, no doubt. Actually, not a crazy amount yet, but it's about to be a crazy amount. And you're not pushing a fortified outpost. I think it's got 10,000 health. Meanwhile, the Dark Elf won only 9,000. A little bit of an advantage for the humans. 
But then the Dark Elves can make a Border Fortress in Tier 2. Humans can't. Might get to see some of that soon. Infoche is doing some good work. A good teleport as well, but I think the Wolfguard Commander still gets level 6. Not gonna go for the Earth Shatter, which, which is what I was gonna predict, but... Yes, I'm wrong. The Vat is holding on quite well. Mining a little bit of iron. I think we're about to see our first few sleepers. Once their numbers reach like 5 or 6, they're not that easy to kite anymore for the... For the Arborist, so that's exactly the position that Saitama wants to avoid. If it's just a few at a time, you can just focus fire them then and no problem at all, but... Five or six? Yikes! That will get in the middle of your army. It's a border fortress now. 11,000 health. And the first Pyre of Souls is coming up at minus 60 wood. Oh, for Lovatus, that's a lot of negative wood. Man's trying to build a lot. It's got a border fortress down here too. With the triple iron mine. So he's definitely got enough iron mines, I would say. First sleepers are out as well, so gotta protect them at all costs. They're currently free. If he can pump that number up a little bit more, that's great. And we might have an actually equal game going forward, but might even lean into Levatus' favor considering that he has got an extra sector. Satama doing very well with upgrading his buildings though. And I think he might be just after uh, tier 3 here. Getting a forge right now. So maybe not. This is a fortified apple. It's definitely more damageable than the other one. Which is a border fortress. But Earthshatter actually not that earth shatteringly powerful. Didn't get all that much work done, and there's several sleepers for Lovatus available. I think Saitama might need to be really careful here. He's starting to get equalized in population once again. There's a lot of spiders getting destroyed. Is that a sacrifice? It's 20 echoes ready to go. Alright, what's that count on the sleepers? It's six sleepers. That should be enough to get Whirling Blades started, and it's done. Whirling Blades is done. This could be the game changer that he's been looking for this whole time. Uh, Lavatus is still at level 4.4-ish. There's two catapults now threatening him. And the infantry upgrades have started. They're gonna finish in absolutely no time. Border Fortress is doing what it can to repair itself. Uh, really good pickoffs on the sleepers, by the way. But it does look like Levatus has a good engagement coming up. It's currently equal in population with Saitama just about. And still pumping behind this, I'm sure. Levatus is dropping in population again. Saitama keeping his numbers up. It's all those tarantulas just not being very valuable. But Whirling Blades will turn the infantry around for sure. Yeah, look at that. Suddenly there's not a whole lot of infantry. Lavatus is gonna get out of there though. Uh, he just doesn't have level 5, which is a huge issue. But he's much closer. If he gets level 5, at least he'll have Kiss of Nor. But I bet he really regrets taking Lingering Curse. <laughs> 200 population humans for Saitama here. Oh, he's not going tier 3 just yet. It's a lot more iron for it, and right now he's more interested in catapult production anyway. Lavatus is building up a high-quality army with infiltrators and sleepers only. 
Not sure if there's anything else coming, actually. Uh, there's a triple Dark Temple, so all that Echo can be turned into Scions. That would be fantastic, especially with their Sweeping Burst upgrade. Once there's Iron for that, that is. Not before. Handful of Tarantula are always nice as well, because you need the Echo. Those units are literally just there to die. Level 5 is reached by the Reaper. Well, let's see what the man can do. Uh, is he even picking the skills? Nope. I hope he realizes he's level 5 all of a sudden. Six catapults for Saitama, my god. That is 30 population. Alright, Levatus. Only one potion each. Quite a bit of gold in the bank. Now the Spire of Souls coming up. Satama is very comfortable economically. He can click tier 3. He already has and he's got that many resources. Okay. Did not expect that. Uh, Wolfguard Commander getting in the middle of that. Actually cancels the ability. And there's the Blood Shower. Okay, that will paint a lot of units red. The Catapults are in... A really bad spot as well. Level 7 is reached by the Wolf Guard. But the Dark Elf army is starting to look really threatening. They're maxed out as well. Earthshatter only really buys a few seconds. And we're gonna have a massive kiss of Nor in the middle of all the Arbalists. Surprised Levat is pulling back actually. But you know, makes sense. He baited all these units into a choke point and now they're all bleeding. That's gonna hurt a lot. Wow, just add full population Saitama dropping rapidly. Wolf Guard Commander has been taken down. The sleeper numbers have climbed so high that I think Levatus can now comfortably stick around here and snipe that fortified apples real quick. Wait, Saitama is actually engaging again, uh, making sure that it's not such an easy decision for Levatus. Actually, several sleepers might be sniped if he's not careful. Border Fortress is up. And it's focusing the Reaper. I think it's going to snipe the Reaper. Oh, man. So it's not going to be possible to steal this sector just yet. Um, curious what Levatus will be doing. He's got 10 idle workers right this second. Mostly in the main. A little bit elsewhere. Uh, down here. Good spot for the Forge, by the way. I like it. S sweeping burst for the Scion coming in. This is a good time for the Reaper to go shopping, I think. As he's got... A little bit of gold in the bank. He already went for the shop uh, with five potions. Wolfheart Commander is back up. We might see the weapon from her. Maybe armor. Uh, the resistance strings are always a good choice. Wait. Needs potions mostly. I think that's what it will be. Well, Saitama can very easily go for the middle. Sorry for pressing the menu there. Oh, balls of steel crashing into the border fortress. Not ideal. This thing has 14,000 hit points. And there's a supporting watchtower. This has started to enter the meta a little bit. When people get rich, they just make a watchtower or two. It's a medic. Crazy. Don't get to see that often. Iron Mine's getting absolutely run down by a sleeper harass. Trying to snipe a champion, but it's not happening. And the Dark Elves are gonna siege this Border Fortress again. Uh, this time with mostly sleepers. Still 40 infiltrators, never mind. It's just 18 sleepers. <laughs> just. That's quite a lot, actually. Okay, Wolfguard Commander gonna be cursed here. By Lingering Curse. She's not doing so hot, and the base is lost. Novatus for the first time taking down the base. Uh, this time he also has corruption available. I think it's just level 1 of corruption, but he's level 6 anyway, so makes sense. He'll pick, it, pick up more later. There's a corruption bomb. And there's a kiss of Nor combo. That detonated a lot of Arbalist there. They're not dead, but they're pretty damaged. 
Tatama doing what he can, finally getting ahead in population again. With the help of the champions, they are a big difference maker here for sure. Uh, Reaper hasn't exactly been participating in the fight, so that's a problem. The Wolfguard commander will be falling here. And this is a great opportunity for Levatus to continue. Even though it's champions and catapults that he's fighting against, not an easy task. Uh, two Basilisks are out, so there's the counterpart to the catapults for the Dark Elves. That's a lot more Basilisk than I said. We're up to four now. Sleepers can still fight against the champions for the moment, especially if they're supported by the knockdown balls of steel. Going pretty well there. No more coming out. I, I think any more than four or five is too much. Whoa, look at that soul harvest. That's epic. That's a lot of souls. Going three different separate ways. Uh, sector upgrade is almost done. And that's... What happened with the catapults? <laughs> He's looking for Aria and Satava forgot that there's some in the main. There's some up north, there's some over here. Oh my god! Those knockdown balls just knock down everything. Remember the catapults don't have much siege resist, so these basilets do insane damage against them too. And I'm not sure with mass catapults you're able to really fight this kind of dark elf army. Uh, certainly the sleepers don't care. Kiss of Nord did some massive damage as well just now. But I like the choice of Levatus to pull back and just make more Spires of Souls. Uh, have that tanked. By the way, the Harvesters these days cost one population on the mod. Unlike in the live game where they don't cost populations, so... At some point they just stop spawning. If you're maxed out. Part Commander not getting cursed. I'm not sure what did get cursed. I think that was an interrupted ability, in fact. I'm sure Flavato should keep pushing like this. It's very risky, but again, those catapults are so low, it's so tempting. I totally get where he's coming from. Another Kiss of Nor maybe coming in. It was available, he chose not to use it. So there's six harvesters back. There's a lot of echo to harvest as usual. That is uh seven spires of souls. We got five dark temples. Satama so trying to two-shot the fortified apples. Might be able to pick off that uh Gigatrixy over there. Didn't work out. But there's a lot of souls, so even though. Darkcraft lose the base, it's not that big of a deal. Satama has to run, man. This is a bad, bad situation. There's sleepers in the middle of the catapults. They're gonna be cleaving onto them, hitting several at the same time. We just had the kiss of Nor. Catapults are disappearing left and right, and I think Satama is gonna GG out. We've got a victory for Levatus. Score is now 1 to 1 in this glorious best of 7. And we've got plenty of games to go. Very nice to see the Dark Elves win one. Especially in the Grand Finals. Alright, welcome to the jungle. We've got Saitama playing as the humans, pulling in the creeps. Once again, Wolfguard Commander. It is known. Laventus, also humans. But with the Royal Mage. At least not a full mirror matchup, although in this tournament we've certainly had our fill. And we're not done. Probably gonna get more mirrors. Different pathing for both. Uh, Satama more aggressively looking to be horizontal. The lot is more vertical. Fast to level 3 from him too. So it should be. I think it's the same build. Yeah, with the wood priority. 
I actually said I had the food priority. So we might get out an extra infantryman soon. Did he forget? Maybe. They'll be avoiding each other just about. Maybe Lovatus will find out about this. No, they do meet. Ah. Yeah, that didn't work out. I don't think you should nuke down this royal flag. Uh, just go for the south. There's a lot more creeps up here. Lovatus did lure away the... Revenants from his scouting post, so that's very nice to see. Satama is gonna come back to work on them again, bring them back into the fold. And get some of that harassment game done. So, what Lavatus can do now is uh, buy a totem of power. I didn't expect that. Looks like the Revenants are back to party as well. And yeah, Wolfgard Commander is looking to do some worker damage. That's probably what we'll get to see. Good belling use, however. And good news for the Royal Mage is that he does get XP from this, because he's nearby now. So Giga Trixie isn't really messing up his day too much. Total of power gets cleaned up very quickly. And there's sad worker harassment. Every little bit counts, and Levatus is spending a lot of resources repairing the scouting post as well. Definitely doesn't want to go tall just yet either. Ooh, some good burst damage going down on the Wolfguard Commander. She does have four more potions, however. Um, Levatus does have three. So it's not that much of a disparity, considering that he's going to be shooting at this hero non-stop. Of course, Commander won't be able to stay too long. But Saitama believes he can justify this worker harass anyway. Vat is doing good with upgrading the workers as well. Already at 400 HP. That's a. Pretty good change from 250. Making the job a lot harder. Yeah, Saitama is already done with it, I think. He's over here right now, creeping. Up to level 4. Hey, surprise Lovatus is not sticking around, actually. I guess the Frontier Post will do the hard part of the job anyway. Goes too far, though. Uh, I guess he doesn't want to sacrifice the sector count. Like, he wants to compete with Saitama over map control. He's currently behind us as it is. So avoiding that maximally is the way forward. You have to split anyway. Ah, good job with the infantryman, Saitama. He's once again maintaining his lead. In the flag count. Lovato should hurry up and upgrade this flag. But then again, there's a level 4 Wolfguard Commander coming in. And, uh, she'll make short work of this. Even if it's tried to upgrade itself. Especially with the infantryman, it's impossible to upgrade. So Lovato's just doing what he can with what he's got. Which is not much right now. Um, double barracks is already up. I think Saitama is going to be a bit delayed compared to that. Considering that he likes to expand more. In fact, he got five sectors before doing the barracks. Mm 
I personally very frequently do it in number four, but Saitama is more of a big macro player. But then again, Levatus is roughly doing the same thing. He's just got his... Oh! No, no, he's doing what I said. Uh, okay. Five sectors and four barracks. That's definitely a heavier pressure build. And you should be cutting ahead in population pretty fast. Saitama so will have to match this at some point. He's level 5, so that's a nice advantage to have. Loses one infantryman. Very uncharacteristic, but it's late in the day. These guys are playing at their 1 a.m. A massive props to them for putting up with this schedule. By Levatus here. He's barely ahead by a few units. It's gonna be very important for him to keep the pump going. He's about to be population blocked. But denying every little bit of space to Saitama is key. He's currently very choked up on the map, so getting two base skills would be sick. I'm still afraid he would need one more. After all that. Oh, Saitama's coming to defend. He's got the level 5. Lovatus does not. This could be a disaster. Fire might and Ice might. For whatever good that will do. Certainly, Earth Shatter is a tough thing to fight against. Uh, we've got the level 2 armor this time for Saitama, not something he does every time. Great interrupt by Levatus, but I think the next one will hit. Um, he's trying to split up his army, though, to avoid the worst of it. Yikes, that Royal Mage just took a big beating. Scouting post together with the army seems to be holding just fine, however. Now the capital is helping. And there's a big Earth Shatter, however. Oof. Still hurts, even after all this preparation. The billets are coming in. Uh, Royal Mage doing what he can with the icicles. Saitava's army is moving more than it's fighting, and with that... Finally, Levatus can clean up a little bit. Gain himself a little advantage in this massive map. Where he'll need every little bit to come and uh, catch up with the sector count. Saitama's lead is just insurmountable right now. Look at that. It's got sectors everywhere, dude. Levatus is a bit more compact. Seven, eight sectors coming up soon. Uh, I guess he's gonna get that bottom one. Satama so has nine sectors and coming up on ten. Yeah, that Vatus still has work to do. <laughs> he said they'll... They'll donate to Vin Vince happily. As in both of them. Well, Levatus has a very nice population lead here. Doesn't have a level 5, which is a problem. So this Wolfguard Commander Lady can definitely do a lot of work here. Oh, just trapping so many of those infantrymen. My goodness, Levatus has to get out of here. He just lost like 5 units. Uh, it's actually like 7. And Satama can just keep denying the XP. Levatus only has 4.5 levels. 
Uh, now going shopping. Buying a tier 3 armor, I assume. No tier 2 armor and the tier 3 weapon, of course, from earlier. Suddenly not that big of a population lead. And Saitama is nearly level 6. Not that far off, really. Should be able to defend this sector, no problem. Earthshatter will be back. I would like to see that teleport. I was not doing it. That's surprising. He's got all the potions in the world. This is a great opportunity to take level 6 and win the fight. But I guess base trade more interesting. Lovatos did have fewer sectors until just a moment ago. So that time I'm maintaining the lead. Sixty-nine versus ninety-six population. We got the funny number and the inverse. Great. Tier 2 for Levat is coming in quite early. Um, Satama actually not even starting it yet. He's happy where he is. But with Levat is going taller, it makes a lot of sense. Wolfcard Commander gets once again interrupted. But the Earth Shatter going down on a lot of infantrymen. It doesn't kill them, not even close. Which makes this a not so great attack. Sitting around by the scouting post, maybe better chances. 22 seconds until the next Earth Shatter. Probably not gonna wanna stick around for that. These infantrymen are low as it is. So for the moment, I'm liking the chances of Levatos again. Up by still 10 plus population. Probably not enough to attack this sector. Not the Frontier Post, certainly. Hey, picking off some Arbalest in the back. Not too bad. Ooh, that's a great Earth Shatter, though. This is Saitama's chance. He's got level 6. But he's still behind by 20 population. Just can't do it. Macro Machine of Levatus with the extra early barracks were... That was definitely worth it. Yeah, destroying the barracks would be a good move. Getting the entire sector would be sick. Of course, Lovatus is ready to teleport on this. He doesn't have potions. But if he catches all the archers... Oh my god, he might just get all the arbalists. Wait, I think he might lose the hero though. Oh man, that's tough. Yes, yeah, Atama is just gonna leave. He knows he can't destroy a fortified outpost. But he loses enough stuff to give Lovatus his level 5. So, in the end, Levatus might be happy with that trade. Did need that level 5 pretty bad. Keeps the sector, keeps the barracks, keeps the 150 population to 101 lead. Damn. Katama is working on the outpost though. This might upgrade. Just might. Ah, oh, that's a lot of infantry, man. I'm not sure it matters. Even with the upgrade, that's that's too much stuff. A good job by Satama rallying in on that. Uh, fortified outpost won't hold either, but it will hold a whole lot longer than the frontier outpost. And this is gone. Royal Mage is back. <laughs> they got blown up at the same time, actually. Coming up for Levatus. Saitama is in tier 2 now. I'm sure the iron mines are coming up in no time. But the map control situation is much more equal this time around. And Levatus has that huge population lead still. Of nearly 50 population. 
Ah, oh, gotta be careful with the split army. Many of them are not fighting. Still some good pickoffs coming through. Dude, Saitama is struggling in this one. If you can somehow build up to a bigger population count, this might be okay. Right now, Levatus' army is just too big. And they're all in one place too. And I think they're gonna get their upgrade very soon. Does have the iron for it, certainly. Um, he also does have Starfall. So I guess he's just gonna cast that in the middle of side time. I with a really good split again. Uh, but it does make his army not attack for a moment. Just the icicles are doing a lot of damage across all these units. Fortified outpost is down. Interrupt a little bit too late on the Wolf Crack Commander, so the Earth Shatter did a lot of work on the Arbalist in the back. But the Royal Mage can still keep going. We've got commander getting very low. I'm not sure Saitama will recommit her. We've got absorb the elements on the royal mage. And that will push away all these infantrymen. They're so low. All of them are. And the flag's coming up. Oh my. Has Lovatus done it? Is he gonna pick off another game against Saitama here? It's entirely possible, but nobody can say that Saitama can't come back yet. He still has an opportunity. Just gotta build up to 200 pop and it's relatively even still. Just need that 200 pop and not fall behind against upgrades. Which they're both working on. Actually, Saitama didn't start and Lovatus is finishing. Okay, this is a problem. If Saitama notices this, he can start up his own upgrade. Which he just did. Yeah, the population is closing in. So this is the way to do it. Just keep this engaging for now. Um, just buy time with whatever. Reach 200 population. And have an equal battle there. Lovatus is actually teleporting into that. Still loses the sector. Uh, very fierce battle between the two heroes. Both of them die. And once again, Saitama will be losing several units on the way out to these uh, Arbalists as well as the infantryman chasing with high HP. Not very easy to take down at all. But he will be able to hold on to the fortified outposts and all that. Tier 3 is coming for Levatus, but not Saitama. So once again, a little bit of a pickle. But nothing else coming that would save Saitama here. So I have to rely on the Fortified Outpost and the Wolfguard Commander teleport. The problem is when you have an army lead, Levatus can just take these not so great fights and still do okay while destroying a handful of buildings. Oh, he kind of just stopped. So that will help Saitama equalize the situation. He's got fully upgraded infantrymen now. Uh, Levatus' ones are a little bit slower to that. No Warhammers just yet. So maybe now taking a fight with the upgraded infantrymen, maybe he has enough uh, of, a, of a lead with the heroes as well to, to go and punish this. Where is the Wolfguard Commander? She should teleport through, definitely. Won't engage without it. Yeah, the infantry upgrade was cancelled by Levatus in favor of a quicker tier 3. So let's see, uh, we got no upgrades on the barracks. So even if he is tier 3, which he is not yet, he won't be able to immediately make champions. He'll have to upgrade the barracks first. Always walking in deep. Got half the HP of the Royal Mage down. At no cost of units, so that was a pretty good move. Then again, Lovatus reacted pretty quickly and well. Still got the shot through. Unfortunate for him, but Saitama is now grabbing more sectors to uh, build up his lead overall. Putting the infantrymen up front. 
needs to come back with that wolf card commander. There's no way to play around with this anymore. Definitely no time for creeping. So this is the time to teleport back and get a nice earth shatter. And the fortified apple is doing a ton of work against the royal mage. Meteor completely missed. Where is the wolf card commander? I don't think you can afford to go for undead right now. It's taking too long. Fortified outpost will be destroyed in the end. So let's see if he can earth shatter this or something. Um, for now, Levatus maintains an army lead. And the Arbalists sadly just haven't been shooting. Tier 3 coming in for Saitama as well. But Levatus maintains his pop lead. His infantrymen are upgraded too now, so Saitama doesn't have that advantage. I think he does have the Arbalist range though on Levatus. At least that. Is he trying to dive the hero again? I think he might be getting a little greedy. Levato is being very patient and it's, it's really paying off for him, guys. He's not trying to go for that hero kill, picking off a few units at a time and being satisfied with that and doing it over and over and over builds you an advantage over a long duration, for sure. Not as flashy as sniping in the hero and getting out of there, but you probably will lose less units as well. Fewer units. Well, got triple stacks on uh, Fire Might and Ice Might, so an Absorb the Elements would do great. This is now Border Fortress, so very difficult for Saitama to attack. Needs Catapults. Uh, the drill halls are gonna be upgraded soon. And the first champions will be actually from Saitama. Or so it seems. The fortified outpost might be destroyed. This is a good opportunity to earth shatter, but it didn't happen. In fact, a meteor lands in the middle of the Arbalest. That was great uh, by Levatus. So, once again, maintaining his pop lead for a while. But now having to deal with the champions is not going to be easy. Earthshatter coming through and once again interrupted. Great use of the Royal Mage by Levatus for this whole game. But finally he gets sniped. Not at a free cost however. Saitama loses his hero as well. Champions need to get to the front line then they might be able to swing this in his favor once again. Very tough target for Arbalists, as they have 1,400 health. It's a lot more infantry, and then they uh, bonk two targets at the same time. Until they're upgraded when they bonk free. Tons of Aria coming in, I'm sure. Uh, no catapults just yet, that would be also a nice addition here. Okay, Saitama being very defensive, he knows he needs to be like that. Uh, the fortified apple is just about fully repaired. And the catapults are starting to shell. But they're not doing that much damage against infantry right now, or obelisk as well. Um, they don't have their whole fire upgrade. Looks to me like Saitama is finally going to catch up at 200 population. That's the whole thing of a population mechanic. If you are maxed out, you have a limited window of maintaining that lead. Eventually the other guy will catch up if you let them. A Wolfcard Commander should die here, I think. Oh, just about manages to get in there. There's a handful of Keepers as well now. Very interesting to see them. But they have more health than even champions, as well as the same armor. So, might be okay. They don't have much magic resist, however. So, in that sense, it's worth. Okay, there go, there they go. We got the kebab spikes. It's a lot of blue on the ground. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at all those champions for the Vatus! Let's get the count. Real quick, 20 champions and 3 flag bearers. Oh wow, he's gonna buff him up. He's gonna buff him. 
Saitama has nine champions, four keepers, three catapults. That is nowhere near the number that Lovatus has. Even with the kebab spikes, I don't think these, these guys can win right now. Lovatus up 200 population to 170. Saitama is here or is frozen, man? Oh, she can't get out of there. The royal mage is just fine right now. You can do this all day. Champions are now beefed up. 20% more armor. Sorry, 15% more armor and uh, how much more attacks? 20% more attacks. That is crazy. These guys just have 180. And these guys with uh, whatever it was, 216. Granted, the one supported by the Wolfguard Commander could do even more. Not positive we'll get there though. Absorbed the elements was used, so tons of shots for the Royal Mage. Can shoot four projectiles now. And it looks like Lovatus is picking off a lot of Saitama's units again. Doing great work with keeping his champions and the hero alive. And he made it to the merchant. What did we buy? Looks like potions. He's got back to nine potions. Saitama is zero. This could be a huge issue once again. As Lovatus has border fortresses absolutely everywhere. Except like the two locations up top. Saitama still working on several as well. Now down to 100 pop and if he knew how much population Levatus has, he would be really scared right at this moment. Mentalists are on the field. They've been buffed in the patch, by the way. They are now only three population, I believe, rather than four. Oh, let's double check. He's just got the catapult fire upgrade as well. There's only two academies, so it's not that much, but yeah. Oh, wait, there are four pop? Thought that was changed uh, to three, but oh, no. I guess not. Fortified apples getting blasted from a million miles away by these catapults. And Saitama, once again, having too many catapults of his own, won't be able to fight the champions. Not with that. Great Earth Shatter, though. Need a few more of that to make a comeback here. Oh god, they're, they're getting on top. Every little bit counts, as it seems. Takes out the flag bearer. And some champions actually starting to go down. Uh, the longevity of this fight starting to pay off for Saitama. He's not upgrading to border fortress though, which is a problem. Not that many champions remaining in this, but look at that Congo line of units. My goodness. Uh, the base is finally gone, thanks to all these catapults mostly. And the Vatus is gonna push through. Very likely taking a second win in this process as he just ruined Saitama's ability to train units. Doesn't have as many barracks as Lovatus, not even close. He's only on six production buildings, but uh, the academy is not even done. Lovatus can do this all day, he's just pressing the buttons. It's all quick. Press the unit button, send, attack, move. It's a big strategy at this point. Don't need no, no more. A lot of catapults. Let's get a count on that. 14 catapults. Satama likes this unit, I think. This is no accident. <laughs> okay, the champions get in the middle of all that. Doing what he can there. Uh, Royal Mage is wasting the Wolfguard Commander's time, meanwhile the Border Fortress is destroyed. And actually the catapults are taking down the champions, what is going on? Ah, it's not quite true, they're, they're dying in the process. And the Wolfguard Commander just did as well. Champions just keep going, there's no stopping him. 
But Lovatus was reduced to just 125 pop. Granted, he can make a lot more. He can make a lot more stuff. That's fine. Good job keeping the Royal Mage alive and his very nicely mixed composition is just a little bit too fearsome for all these catapults. Now the sector getting taken over by Lavatus. Doesn't look like you can stop this train. Just keeps going. That's a scaling post only. Gonna get deleted very quickly. Maybe not. Royal Mage is level 10, by the way, just casually. Uh, chilling here. Get it. It's casting Hailstorm, which has chill. Okay. I make catapult. I am Saitama. <laughs> Is this actually gonna work? A level nine royal uh, wolf guard commander. Sorry. Hundred percent siege resist. By the way. And that's what Tenacity also helps with, gives resistances for the active Aras. So you can, you can keep going with that, get more Aras as the game progresses. Doesn't have any potions, sadly, on this hero, and she gets frozen. Oh, the Arbalists are walking up to her, the Meteor hits exactly at the right time! And that's way too much damage coming through. What a beautiful Bombo combo from Levatus. Perfectly done. Catapults are kind of keeping him at bay though, and there's stuff behind that. Like, there's more champions behind that, there's mentalists behind that. This is not something to scoff at anymore. Oh, <gasps> the Paragon's return! Just as the tournament has predicted, I did not see that coming. Oh my goodness. Let's go! Shielding every single unit, and I forgot to say this is a superhero landing. Oh yeah. Meteor coming down as well, right on top of the catapult, smacking it in one go. Is Saitama gonna get one of his own? Doesn't look like he can. Doesn't have the economy for it right this second, not the... He doesn't have the iron mostly, the Paragon will be completely changing this game around in Levatus' favor. He could not have pushed like that without this, that's for sure. Would have taken a lot longer, so Paragon, great way to end the game. Beautifully played. So Lovatus is up now 2-1 against Saitama. Hard to believe, but this is where we are. Man has an actual chance of winning the tournament now. Could he put Saitama in a negative mental state? We shall see. Blue color, human Saitama. Pink color, Laventus, humans. Wait, that's the wrong order. Oh well. Once again, Royal Mage versus Wolfguard Commander Saitama feeling pretty confident this time around. He said he will turn on the brain. We will see about that. It's a quick level 2. Lovatus wasting no time here. Saitama more interested in grabbing flags horizontally. And I think Lovatus has learned his lesson. This is probably the best pathing. And he continues down the path. So that's all good. Uh, workers remain unassigned for the moment. But they'll be going to the stone cutter, no doubt. Satama so definitely having a creeping advent oh sorry, a flag advantage because of the lack of creeping. It's only working on his first creeps right now for level two. Time, 
And I'm just gonna skip this one for... Oh. Oh, we almost got the Vibrant onto the royal flag. That wouldn't quite work out, though. Anyways, the next mission is for the royal mage to use the godstone over here uh, to teleport back through the middle, I assume. Never mind, he cancels this. He did it. But he's not gonna fight like the Ice Viper. This is cancelled, dude. I guess he's just going down the middle. And for the next base, this makes a lot of sense. This makes a good amount of sense as well. You want food, then not so much. It is good to secure the front sectors first, anyway. Those are the priority. Stonecutter workers are getting cut down. There will need to be an infantryman to help him out. Really good job by Levatus this time around. He's got a good amount of sectors. That's great to see. Satama has a little bit more population and thus harassment power. An infantryman here, an infantryman there. Adds up very quick. Might even be able to take down some royal flags. Especially with the help of the wolf card commander. If they can go together, they can deny any base from coming up. Looks like it will happen to this. It's got minus 30 wood. What's going on? Where is he building? Hunting cabin. Plus this. Yeah, that will do it. Not sure what else. Oh, this as well? Yeah, you can't make that many things at once. Oh, the scout gets frozen and probably killed by the ice vibrant at this rate. Haha, <laughs> doesn't want to chase that far. Good job by the infantryman denying a base. But that's also part of Levatus' greed. He upgrades too many sectors at the same time. If he staggers it, it would have upgraded, I think. Base 1v1. Never mind. It's still 1v1 because the workers don't fight back. Now Santama can work on his sector count again. He's already got one more flag than Levatus does. Oh, the Vibran actually somehow got pulled in there. What? That's your barracks, dude. <laughs> it didn't work out. It's a cool barracks now. These guys want to game seven, I think. Right, Thomas lead is pretty nice. Let's see if he has any barracks. Just the one coming up, so definitely slower than that of Levatus. That's just how Saitama likes to play though, like, he just delays the barracks by one, one sector. But with some better harassment play, it's all fine, like, he will get the faster level 5, no doubt. A level 2 Royal Mage farming the Ice Viver and I... I'm not very comfortable with this, honestly. Leaving all these bandits on the map. And you're not even guaranteed that good of an item from the Ice Viper. Like, it could be just 5 focus. Which is... It's okay. It's not amazing. Certainly getting 
up to five potions from the revenants is just as good. And this is just level four. It's not even a level five thing. So let's see what we're getting out of this. Uh, it's a focus ring. Wow. The prophecy is true. Fire might and ice might. Hailstorm, spark, biting frost, double arcane force, double deep waters. As for Saitama, we have got the whole left side. Double deep waters, double brute force. Very usual. That's what he does. I think that's level 4. Also needs a few extra bandits to get level 5. I feel about this, I think. Okay, my prediction was incorrect. Saitama did not get the faster level 5. 8 minutes into the game, very macro focus for sure. Uh, do expect Starfall and Absorb the Elements, of course. Even grabbing this distant sector for the uh, extra Godstone and later on the Aria will be very useful. Because otherwise they would have to fight for the one sector in the middle. It's very important for any comeback poten potential to secure this, even though it costs you some extra time. Population-wise, we are very even. So whatever small lead Saitama had no longer applies. But now he can get up to level 6 here on the Vyvern. So he can definitely get started on this. This is more than enough of an army to take it down. Seeing also a very nice spread. So the Vibrant can't just freeze the entirety of this army at once. Aromage trying to get closer to that level 6 as well, but won't be able to actually hit it. Um, 5.7 ish. Certainly Levatus has some time to go with the back creeps or whatever he wants to do. Uh, Saitama also gaining a focus ring out of this. And now that he's level 6 he can pick up, I assume, Earth Shatter, I assume Shadow Strike to... Tenacity? And um, Deep Water's free. But he has a lot of focus, Levatus is hanging around in the middle uh going for that tempest golem maybe maybe not <laughs> it's a tough target and he can definitely destroy a lot of the infantry so gotta be careful with that but he's got maximum stacks of ice might and fire might this is a great opportunity to engage infantry man he can see them too this is the time to strike although earth shatter is terrifying right now interrupt it He's got it. Has to be recast again. He's got absorbed the elements on. Might be able to call down the meteor. And he is doing it. Saitama splitting out. Walking into it actually. More like. Uh, that means that Lavatus will be up by what? 30 plus population? That's bonkers. Dude, ch no chasing? No chasing? I guess his infantry is pretty sl pretty low as well, so I understand. Uh, we don't have Biting Frost level 2, so we can't freeze the hero. But he casts plenty of abilities so that, um, that he builds back up his charges, so that's great. Saitama once again has a little bit better map control. Draws down the Tempest Golem, probably accidentally here. This is... A if Levatus realizes this, if he can hear it from just about here... There's audio cues for this. Oh man, he's gonna scout it and not find it. Oh no, 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 no. Uh, Saitama almost certainly gets this creep for free now. And with that, probably level 8. Maybe not level 8. Level 7 and a half. Loses a bunch of infantrymen though. 
And Lovato still comes down to help. So to say. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, he's trying to lure it to his own army. It's genius, actually. I think it will work as well. Oh, he has to choose what to interrupt now. Not the knockdown. Oh, he gets knocked down by both of them. Two Earth Shatters. Oh, the Royal Mage is dead. Dude, that is devastating. Huge issue. Everybody gets knocked on. Nobody gets knocked? What just happened? Only one Arbalist got knocked. What is this? Anyway, level 7 for the uh, Wolfguard Commander. Almost level 8. Oh my god. Uh, Levatus gets level 6. So he could have jumped to level 8, I guess, without everything. Uh, gets the Ring of the Sacred Rite, which is great. Especially for that reduced cooldown on Earth Shatter. Full Brute Force Wheel. Oh, <laughs> those infantry are taking so much damage from this. Levatus may have this upper sector, but he doesn't have the upper hand. Trying to upgrade this thing. Now down in population by a lot. Saitama happily pushing up. Royal Mage is back, however. R kind of surprised how quick that was. But then again... A long time was already spent on this little engagement. Offers both players plenty of opportunities. To micro, to... Do little tricks, mind games, etc. Only four barracks for Saitama. Levatus has six. So his replenishing aim should be a lot stronger. His forge is only now coming up as well. So starting to switch to farm production. His economy is in tatters. So that will take a while to get back up. Especially good time to kill all these hunters. <laughs> Again, every little bit counts. He's going up to eight barracks. And the mage is back with tier 3 armor, no less. Very fancy. The tier 3 weapon as well, of course, from earlier. Also very fancy. Wolfguard commander doesn't have a helmet. Didn't equip the ring. Got 10,000 in the bank, but this is a good opportunity to notice the lack of equipment. So Tamas Eco is looking pretty hot. I think he equipped the ring. And there goes the shielding amulet. There's no more heavy creeps on the map, so it makes a lot of sense to buy an amulet right now. Uh, no weapon! Saitama really does not like to buy that weapon, by the way. Like, he just goes for the tankier hero if he can. But never puts points into health either, so... You know. Just wants a long effect on the Shadow Strike. Uh, with a heavy, heavy slow. Fortified Apples is more than capable of defending itself, I would say. Lovatus is not down by that much population that this would be scary. Although his population is not here right this moment. Earth Shatter is gonna be of devastating effect. Unless we're going to see a meteor, we're going to have a problem for Levatus. There it is. Saitama splits! But it's not enough. He gets hit by a lot. A lot of units go down there. Uh, but Levatus also losing so many units right now. The fortified outpost helping, but not quite enough. See if the quad attacks from the Royal Mage will do the trick. It doesn't look like it will. It goes down again. Even though the icicles are working on the infantryman, it's not that much damage. Even with the 45 apples, these are upgraded infantrymen now, and they're gonna be armored with the Wolfguard Commander's help. So I think they'll take down this middle sector. And uh, Lavatus is in serious trouble now. 
as he's down by 70 plus population to Saitama. That's not tier 3 outpost or city center, so yeah, we're in trouble here, Lovatis. I think Saitama can go into catapult production mode and potentially just run through all of these sectors. It's a lot of pink here. Mostly pink. Not gonna click up to tier 3, but there go the mix of support garrisons and uh, drill halls. There will be plenty of catapults, I'm sure. Actually, Saitama kind of maxed out. Maybe too early to upgrade those. Where's the bullets? It will take a hot this second. A Hopefully he's got enough stone cutters around the map. Should be around 3 or 4 by this time. We must definitely need a lot of stone. Oh, such good micro, man. Okay, he does lose a handful of arborists, but whatever. Uh, the splits are always so on point. They just ha happen to walk into it. So, joy to watch the Thomas army control. <laughs> Freezes an infantry man. Okay. <laughs> it's for the psychological damage. These workers are way too chill about this. <laughs> chop, chop, man. Let's get to work. Like the UK government with inflation. That's the same sound they make. Oh my good lord! What just happened? That was one of the best meteors of the entire league. Easily. Whoa! <laughs> Even though that happened, I'm still not sure Lovatus is in a great spot, but this will certainly help. Wow! He just yeeted out half the army. Still working on it. If he had Fire Nova, that would be great in these spots, by the way. But I think the infantryman count is just too high. Saitama maintains 120 pop to 35 lead. And once again, the Royal Mage goes down. As flashy as that was, sometimes the numbers just are too much. Still a great fight by Levatus, but Saitama... In a big macro game, in a big macro map like this, usually prevails. Still, Levatus shows his ability to keep up. I think he can do it. I think he can do it, but this series is now equalized. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Wastelands of Zoo, and we've got Pink Levatus playing as Dwarves. And on the other side, it's Saitama in the yellow. We've seen this before. Crazy to be back. Vatus has done so well in the earlier rounds against Atama in the same matchup. Curious if he can do it all again. He's ahead already in terms of walking time. So great news, but he didn't have a tree chopper to teleport to, so he's just a tiny little bit ahead. That more rider might be able to deliver like one hit. On the Plaguebringer, which is all he needs. He's going to be uh, taking the Scenic Route as well. Uh, potentially into this sector over here. On the left side. Knowing that Saitama likes to go to the bottom. I think that should benefit him a lot. But he might change his mind still. Oh god, they're going to the same side again. Levatus does have a lead though. Morider should have seen this. I think 
he has seen this, but didn't move them all either. Or just didn't look at the minimap at the time. Oh well. Tiny, tiny lead. Enough to build at least uh, the stone pool, but he's not going to be able to upgrade the sector. That's for sure. Levatus does not have the resources for that right now. Fighting 1v2 here is going to be a little bit too difficult. The Mole Rider is now running along uh, to aid in the battle. The first objective is to weaken that Smasher or maybe even kill it if possible. Uh, is going to get the slow. And actually, because of that, Saitama teleports out. This is a glorious victory already to begin with. Um, now Saitama will have to leg it all the way to the bottom. Granted, he does have this one sector, so... He's not that much in a rush to get it. Um, thing is though, when you have three or four smashers, it becomes extremely easy to take the Medusa down, which is why trolls are so good on base sense of zoo. There's only Medusas in the middle, which if they count as easy, which it is for the trolls, it's such a big amount of gold, potions, and XP. You can just really snowball that. If you get all the four middle uh, middle Medusas, then you're level 6. And that is terrifying with the Plague Bringer because you'll have Corpse Explosion, you have Plague Orb. Uh, you'll, I assume you'll have um, this thing, Tiring Attack. Saitama so does like to pick that now that it has its AoE back. So Lovatus, it's a bit of a slower start, but already a great victory to begin with. Um, he's got this sector, which has a ton of stone. A ton of wood as well. But actually, 300 food is great. So that's one of the factors that makes dwarves great here. Hey, where are we walking to? Certainly not the Medusa. I think over here, maybe. Got the three smashers. Gonna have four smasher very soon, and that's more than enough to take on the Medusa. I think what the Hierophant must be looking for is to deny this Godstone so that Saitama has to walk back. Oh, but the connection point. It's about to happen, and one smasher comes through. That's gonna take a beating from the Hierophant. Not a fatal one, of course. Anyways. The Hierophant now chilling here. Taking down some bandits. Trolls will be doing the same, but yeah, they'll have to walk back, which is a long one. Do they have a teleport? Yeah, they do. They could have teleported, but for such a short walk distance gain, I guess it might be a little risky in case the dwarves have gone for an early, uh, for an early stone hall. Could be problematic. Which hasn't happened, but if it does, trolls don't have great scouting. They don't really like to make birds. Yeah, well, with five smashers, it's gonna be super easy to take down the Medusa. There's no question about that. Lovato's well, just happily working on these side sectors. I'm curious if they'll go down here as well to break the other barricade. No, they're going to the middle. Might be engaging the trolls. Again, Medusa don't weaken them much, so I'm not sure it's worth it. It's a big risk. Just gonna go for the bottom sector, not engaging the Medusa. Wait, they are engaging the Medusa. Ah, all four of them got pulled. That is not ideal. You only want to pull two. Okay, they're gonna. One is gonna retreat, so that's acceptable. 
should be able to easily take on three of them. Although they are at a disadvantage. Numerically. They'll do a lot of damage to the Axe Alert. Meanwhile, Troll smashing up another Medusa camp. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Don't even have to micro that. Seven smashers now. You also got a scrap port. Just on location, very nice. Not much walking to do for the scrappers. All four sectors have some scrap here. Not the one Medusa sticking around though. Actually going for the Ice Wyvern, that is crazy. Very brave move by Levatus. Let's see if that pays off for him. Uh, if spotted, this could be a disaster. Saitama looking for him, but can't find. One Axe will die. But that is a price that Lovatus is willing to pay. He actually used guard totems for this. Didn't realize he bought those. But that's a level 5 then. Might go up to level 6. Uh, along with the... Zombos. Yeah, I think he will do level 6. That's not bad. Then you can at least match the Playbringer. There's no way the trolls can upgrade all four of these sectors, right? One is done, but the others? I, I just don't see that happening. Anyway, this is still a town hall. What about this has now triple stone halls? Satama so only but the one fight had plus the main, of course. Uh, also training smashers. Has a throwing camp. But no hitting camp. Going back home to buy weapons makes a lot of sense. I mean, he's level 6 after all. Has the shielding amulet to equip. That's great. That is great news. Buy that and a lot of potions, weapons. Weakening orb. Plus the shielding, I mean, yeah, this hero is in a pretty good spot right now. Seven, 1,750 hit points. Not bad at all. Going for another Vyvern kill? That's brave. Saitama just chilling at home. He just went shopping. Uh, got the... Hide. He, got, he bought a shielding amulet in the shop. Double ring of notification. He don't care about no Vyvern. See the skills. Triple tiring attack. That's a 30 resistance reduction. Got play disease 2. Got feast on disease 2. And no corpse harvest. Interesting. Anyway, poisonous or infectious survivor will be going down pretty quick. Yeah, that didn't last all that long. Level 7 now for the Hierophant. This is very potent. I like it. Two more points into Brute Force, I assume. It's got all the left side stuff. Kill Shot 2. Scatter Shot 2 as well. And Bone Breaker. Awesome to see. And you can at least deny one of these sectors, but potentially two. Okay, Satama will be going after that Vyvern, but then why did he go shopping like this? Wait, he's not going after it. He's going after the... Undead only. Quick heal for the dwarf boys. Very peaceful game thus far. Satama really weary with engaging, even though he's got a good population lead, actually. 
But that Hierophant could really quickly turn that around. I, I get it. No need to risk anything. Uh, tier 2 coming in. It's in, actually. So what is happening exactly with Lovatus? He's got a lot of stone holes pumping units, that's what. We might see the first big engagement now. Saitama not very eager to do it, though. Got the second scrap horde. I'm probably not in a rush to use it. Oh, he is actually gonna do it. Okay, there's our engagement. Whoa, that's a big Plague Orb to start things off with. Suddenly the Axe Wheelers are at half health. Levatus needs to get out of here. There's no way he can win this fight. A good barrage to start with. Picks off a Smasher at least. For only one Axe Wheeler loss, that's good. If he can repeat this, that's good enough. But that Plague Orb, man. This was just level 6. Saitama barely has any points in... Uh, in brute force. That's gonna get a lot worse. The damage from the barrage barely visible anymore. And there it comes again. Several of the axe wheelers are dead. We got a good barrage over there. Scattershot ammunition is applied, so three targets will be hit at a time. High Hierophant is extremely low. Not very high Hierophant at all. Trying to pick off those Skull Crushers, but it's not easy. Not with Saitama's pullback micro. He's just not going to allow things like this to happen, it seems. And the significant weakening there, of course. Uh, actually, the weakening of the throwers can override the weakening of the uh, of the Plaguebringer. Whatever effect is on first stays until it's over. Then you can reapply something, but if it keeps being the weak, uh, the weak effect of the throwers, then the strong effect of the Plaguebringer doesn't work. So gotta be really careful with that. Yeah, see? Again, both of them attack. Same target. And the weak one was applied first. Ah, uh, because of attack speeds. And then you just gotta deal with it. Good stun there. Still the plague stays applied. Oh wait, he's actually targeting with the plague orb units that weren't plagued. So, I hope the bonus damage against Plague Units is lost. And once again, Saitama losing more units, more value than Lovatus, but he's for now staying ahead in the population count. This is a split map situation. With a very similar sector count. Control economy should be push pushing ahead really easily. And I'm sure it eventually will. Population count certainly tells a story there. Not that great of a Plague Orb again. Weakening coming through on the Plague Bringer, but he's chugging potions, I think. Still, the Barrage did a lot of work. Dwarves keep going. A lot of sentries here. They can split up enough. This choke point really serves well for Saitama. Um, it's gonna be nice to see some Earth Shapers from our Dwarf player. Uh, but bear in mind, they don't have the resistances that uh, that the Axe-Wielders do, so they get this 25% uh, resistance on top. Which could be pushed a lot further with the Earth Shaper Aura, to be fair. Okay, I think Saitama is now interested in the Wyvern. It's a pretty quick, easy kill. Might as well go for it. He's not. He's just, he just wants the Sector. 
I don't know. Saitama really does not like to kill Vyverns and any heavy creeps like that if you can avoid it. Lavatus takes a chance to steal a Godstone. Forcing a teleport. There is no way he's going for the main. <laughs> yeah, no. He's not gonna do that. Destroying the hitting camp would be a big play. It's not that strong of building 2000 health. The time is teleporting back. Catching Lovatus between a rock and a hard place. Hero's getting sniped. Oh, she's so low. She's so dead right now. Where is the hero? I actually can't find it because it's also dead. I don't know what happened. There's so much going on at the same time. Uh, we got the shields procced. We've got the uh, sentry stands for once. But Lovatus gets beaten back for the moment. He's got a lot more coming across the map though. He's feeling brave enough to get the hero um, in the in the godstone. Which is understandable. That time has to make it like back here or something. Did he forget to make his own hero back? Oh my god. Saitama forgot to make the Plaguebringer. I think he did. I Hierophant almost back. On the field. And suddenly Levatus might have a 200 population army against like 130 or so. Uh, he's working on his tier 3. He's working on his fortified outposts. In the middle, he really wants that um, access to the tier 3 resources, Moon Silver. Which is also why he's attacking the North Sector, I assume. Lots of Dwarf Corpses, but also Trolls. And the 90 Sectors to Trolls means that they don't get as much scrap, so they have to like, uh, scrap around these Iron Mine locations. Which also have a scrap pile. Nice, got a lot of Earthshaper shields on. Just not gonna do that much damage in those areas. Whoa, they all triggered it now. <laughs> Once again, the sentries are deployed, doing a lot of damage. I think they're gonna try to snipe the hero. Corpse explosion came through, uh, but still a lot of Levatus' army is up. This is pushing back the Plaguebringer Saitama noticed the deployment. But I'm not sure it matters much as the Skull Crushers are currently taking a lot of damage from the Earth Shapers. Bear in mind they're not very magic resistant. Minus 15% on that. Certainly the... Uh, oh wow, the sentries once again deployed and slowing down the hero from coming back. Can't very easily enter this battle at all. Corpse Explosion would be great to see but that's on a longer cooldown these days. Uh, it's back now. Once again, a hero gets picked off. So, good job by Saitama staying alive. But he's still down 2-1 to one in terms of population count. And now Levatus is going to be tier 3. He's going to start working on that iron mining pretty hard. Actually, he's already got enough. So, Berserkers, anytime now. And we've got a switch from farms to moon silvers. Uh, over here at least. That's actually the only location he's got for it. So, it's very important to own the middle. 32... 32 Earth Shapers! Get out of here, no way. That's bonkers numbers. Okay. Uh, gonna be followed by Berserkers. So, Saitama, he just got pretty basic units. Skull Crushers and Throwers and Smashers. Not that many, anyway. Uh, wait, they're actually getting upgraded for more Throwers. So, the numbers are gonna be pretty good. The Skull Crusher upgrade is happening right now. He's finally got a tier 2 uh, Heart of the Tribe. Also upgrading the Sharp Eye of the Tribe. It's gonna be a bunch of uh, food patches for now. This is also where the Scrappers are very important to get them out of there. So far, not seeing many Shrines to Mugwa. That's 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, like 4 or 5 or something like that. The 
Scrap or destroyed. Scrap or destroyed. That did nothing. <laughs> Those Earth Shapers, man. Even through the disease, they're still pretty tanky, boys. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. That was a lot of damage all of a sudden from that corpse explosion. Sentries are in sharpshooter stance and they're weakening that Plaguebringer so much. They have insane range, uh, but their DPS is a little bit lowered in exchange. Very bursty. Not careful, you take two salvos, your hero's gonna disappear. A good barrage again by the Hierophant as well. And Saitama is suddenly down to 94 population. Levato is uh, rolling with his 170 plus. I guess we're gonna go to the high ground now. A Plague Orb coming in. That's not all the projectiles though. Okay, here come the Berserkers though. That is a big issue for the trolls. Especially if they get their Moon Silver Axe upgrade. Which is happening. Um, it's gonna take a little bit of Moon Silver. He's got it though. It's just a matter of finishing the upgrade. So Levats might as well wait for that to finish and then do a timing attack with that. It's gonna hurt Saitama so much. He doesn't have anything that can resist magic. Nothing at all. School Crusher is his best option, which is not a great option here. Nothing else really coming out. Uh, he does have a Hex Camp under construction. He has some offerings, but he's not gonna have the Scrap at the same time. And there they come with the Enchanted Axes, the Berserkers. 210 uh, damage with, your, with their little Empower Shout. I'm gonna go after the Sharp Eye of the Tribe. All I see is a lot of Yeetos deletus. That was not really felt by the Dwarf Army. They're weakened by it, but uh, the HPs are still looking decent. Levatis can just keep going, as far as I'm concerned. Maybe he's more risk averse than me, but. I say just keep going, you're up by 55 population, 56, sorry. And uh, yeah, the Hierophant is gonna take a bit of a beating. But I like the Sentry Stance use. Uh, Plaguebringer trying to escape, doesn't make it though. But neither does the Hierophant, base explodes. And the Dwarven Army is more than capable of taking this uh, super basic Smasher group. All these buildings belong to the dwarves now, including the hex camp. A very important pickoff, but all these farms and all that. Yikes, man. Yeah, the Hierophant's coming back. Does she still have any potions and stuff? It looks like yes. Yeah, she's pretty well equipped for this. See, she's got the full brute force and concentration wheel. The barrage comes back uh, after 30 seconds. I don't think that's that's accurate. I think that concentration is not being accounted for right now. Uh, which is a weird little bug. For the Plague Bringer, we've got the full wheel of Brute Force. And that's about it. He didn't... What else is he doing, really? Not much else. Just corpse Harvest was added. Still 32 Earth Shapers. I mean, it's working out pretty well. And Levatis has a lot of resources here to pick up, so this sector with the Moon Silver is just so extra valuable right now. He's got like border fortresses everywhere. Um, do wonder. That's where his Moon Silver Smattery is. Makes sense. He's not gonna get the Stomp upgrade just yet. Not that desperate yet. Eventually, we will be that desperate if the game goes that late. But probably not. Got a bunch of flesh eaters. Satama had a backup building. Oh my god. The Playbringer is very surrounded right now. Kind of in trouble, you could say. High higher fan taking a beating. Corpse explosion helping out, but not very much. Oh my god, the hero goes down again. Level 10 for the higher fan. What a disaster this is for Saitama. Definitely does not look good for him. I think Levatis has the momentum now to take down several outposts. Oh my god, if he can take this group. 
that's devastating and Saitama would not be able to make advanced units anymore. Shot by the tribe, definitely toast. Just takes one or two more shots. Uh, and not so great barrage coming through. Let's see what those last skills were that he picked up. Okay, 19.2 seconds for the barrage cooldown now. I think he picked some health. Which makes a lot of sense. 500 extra health goes a long way. And in fact, if Levatus ever goes back later to the to the shop, he should buy skill potions for more health. Or just get the range thing. I don't know. Health sounds good to me. It's all a balancing act. You can't have everything. Oh. Saitama choose, chose a spot. This is as good as any. I like it. Nobody's gonna check there. Guaranteed. Okay, time for some tunnel gameplay. That's my vote. Maybe towers, yes. There they go, the towers. We've got a lot of flesh eaters. They have their stinky aura, which is gonna enfeeble enemies. We also got uh, bone hexers. I'm not sure if they have their um, thingy mech jig. Their upgrade is to leave a zombo behind when they die. That's not on, it's very expensive. Maybe Saitama will be looking to work on a Troll Titan eventually, the Mugwas Cub. Uh, but for now, you'll have to build up a lot. It's expensive. Oh, good corpse explosion though. A lot more units are on the way to join the battle. This is probably not something that Lovatus wants to fight directly anymore. Uh, the magic users of the Trolls are super tough to fight against. Uh, they don't have resistance weaknesses. So the Berserkers aren't auto win anymore. Maybe the Earth Shapers are just not good enough in this scenario. So Tama essentially maxed and has some of the best units he can get. Not all of them yet, like there's still plenty of throwers in there. Oh, oh yeah, that's a good idea. Eat. Troll's gonna eat. It's gonna give them quite a bit of extra boosts. 6% for the moment attack damage. But it's gonna scale. Can go all the way up to 10. It's all pretty linear in the end, but totally worth it. Every little bit of extra power you can get for your units does count, especially in a tournament like this. Obviously, these guys want to be number one of all time. And just what a cool story for the Vatus to finally get there. And to show his power level. Wait, is he sacrificing his Earth Shapers on purpose? <gasps> I didn't see that. There was no notification. I didn't check that. What is going on? Why is Levat losing his entire army suddenly? Oh my goodness. What just... What? Wait, he better be making something good. Oh my god. Look at all those stone halls. He wants Pyromancers now and Berserkers. Okay. But well, that better have been worth it, though. <laughs> he just lost 50 pop of Earth Shapers. I don't know if I love that. Like, just having the Titan is already a good addition. Then again, Dwarves control the entirety of the middle right now. There's tunnels. Um, not sure where it connects to. Maybe nowhere yet. All the do the weakening from the stinky aura. <laughs> Can the Titan carry this? 
Doesn't have all that much attacking power there. And the corpse charger can get eaten, so this army is only getting better. Range power is overall not that great right now. Pyromancers have joined the battle, so they're gonna add a little bit of AoE, but not as good as the Bone Hexers, obviously. But again, not as much population, so it's all fair. Hierophant has to be careful, but she's pretty healthy at the same time. And the Titan? It does work here. Oh, we've got the Warbringer in there. Missed a massive corpse explosion. Sorry about that. Uh, but I think it mostly just did damage. Never mind, there's a lot of corpses. Forcing Levatus back. What is he doing again with the Earth Shapers? Is he that prepared to lose them? Oh my god, that's so many losses, dude. I kind of wish he was trading them normally, not like this. That is very brave. I don't know if I would do that. That is so risky. Oh my. Looking to destroy a base with the Titan makes a lot of sense. Mining a lot of Moon Silver. The observation towers are unupgraded, so uh, they're not gonna provide that much cover here. Especially against the uh, Warping. And look at that HP bar, it's enormous. Got like a million chips in there. Okay, Sharp Eye of the Tribe is getting blasted by the ability of the Titan. So are all the others. The food patches will be destroyed. Actually, that just the food patch was destroyed, nothing else. So how does Levatus' army look after all this trading? Uh, he's got 12 Pyromancers, 10 Berserkers, and still 22 Earth Shapers. Like, are we still making Earth Shapers, like, day in, day out? Apparently, yes. It takes forever to fix that. He's gonna have to, like, recycle and unrecycle his uh, barracks, all of them. That's the only way to quickly clear the queue. Gonna go for this attack once again. But Zaitama's kinda prepared. He, he can take it. What a late game. Uh, and I think if it goes much longer, Saitama will have a Titan of his own. Oh, this guy is going way too deep. Getting weakened by 30%, remember? Uh, every time he gets hit by the hero. Hero's dead. Never mind. That's not gonna happen. So the weakening was from a thrower. Which is not that bad. Making that Scorching Viver mad would buy a second or two. For the moment, these guys are just eating up. Oh boy. Some of these bone axers are getting pretty powerful. This 181 attack. It's a 25 health leech. At least the Flesh Eater gets to spot this. Get get town for his trouble. Attacking the tribe shelters might be an option, or the fight huts even. They're only 1,250 health. So chopping those down with the titan might be a good idea. Tainted Obelisk is not working. I think same for the other side. Uh, Levatus won't be able to push in here like this. Might need to use tunnels. Honestly, this isn't working. And, like, the Godstone is more than ready to defend here. Yeah, nothing, nothing titany happening here. A lot of idle buildings still for Saitama. That is very recyclable. Every resource matters. Tunneling. Okay. Bet Lovatus wishes he had a different connection, like down here. That would be nice. The trolls are attacking for the first time in a long time. Now packed up with wall breakers and stuff. Could use this tunnel exit. 
But I think all that will happen is that Saitama destroys this and just teleports back. Should be no biggie. Spirit of the Mountain, I think, cannot use the tunnel. So, that might have been a little mistake. Fire Golems are already on it. <laughs> Titan along with the Troll Army. They're together now. Oh boy, this is not looking so good for the trolls. Look at those health parts disappearing, dude. You've got to teleport in on the sharp eye of the tribe, but the triple golem will be sniping this. The Hierophant is dead, however. So I'm not sure how much longer the Dwarven army can stick around, but only 140, 30, 180 in population. Suddenly Saitama's losing everything he had. This is brutal. Lost all these magic units, man. Okay, we got a bunch of corpse trollers uh, out of this, but still, it's not going to be able to make up for anything. Oh boy. The Titan is having a pretty good time. We're going to have Iron Beak Corpse Seekers. That was no accident. But is Saitama actually going to be able to remake an army? He just lost everything, dude. Got out with the hero and like a handful of mages. Alright, let's see what the ability of these does again. Um, it applies armored and bleeding around corpses. So armored for your own, bleeding for the enemy. That's a really nice target denial and a really nice buff for your own army. But it's only 7% armor. It's the bleeding that's 15 damage per second. That's actually meaningful. You really don't want to stand in that. Then again, remember... Trolls on this patch do bleeding uh, in an enemy territory. So you would be overriding that if you uh, attack with a unit first. Then again, the aura stays along for a long time. So that helps. Anywho, can Saitama recover this? He's got so many buildings, so many unused buildings. Be great to recycle them. Well, we had a little bit of a uh, stream crash, so I'm recording after the fact. Uh, hopefully, every everything will work out in terms of the casting. We've got a pretty substantial advantage still here for Laventus with the Spirit of the Mountain coming in. Um, but that's a good amount of Flesh Eaters as well as Bone Hexers, so I'm kind of liking Saitama's chances of holding this off. Uh, the Spirit of the Mountain is getting weakened, poisoned, um, or sorry, sorry, disease, and enfeebled at the same time, bleeding on top. This is actually not too bad, but the population of Saitama is once again dropping all these quality units. They just don't appear out of nowhere. Great Corpse Explosion deletes a lot of Levatus' units in the end and has to be really careful with that High Hierophant now. Um, but it does seem like a little bit of ground was gained. The hero is dead. So what Levatus can do is just build this up. All this iron has been not used so far. And it looks like he's got more than enough resources to keep the pump going for a really, really long time. I mean, look at all these sectors, right? It's pretty self-explanatory how the man has access to all these resources now. Largely relying on pyromancers for going home shopping, it would seem different shop that one at level 10 um, the only thing we can really do at this point is getting potions of efficient uh, proficiency which will get one off as well as the helmet that leaves a little bit of gold and that's gonna be a uh, spirit ward of fast feet that makes a hero faster uh, does need to be equipped though okay okay um, I don't see it getting swapped out with the shielding amulet, which might mean that it's not happening. And two more points have been put somewhere, I assume, into health. Uh, so that the Hierophant now is 2900. But if not, then something was level 2'd up. Um, concentration is now at level 3, which makes this barrage pretty good in terms of cooldowns. What has Saitama been up to, though? I hope he's remaking that hero. Yeah, he's not gonna forget. It's Saitama. It's n he's not gonna forget that. <laughs> um, he's also got level 10. And for what it's worth, he's got a little bit of um, gold left to spend. I'm sure he could find something to do with it. But anyway, the big battle is beginning, so let's take a look at that. Uh, Titan is not particularly healthy. Like, he could have been sent to the middle to heal up there. Um, 
play Gorb landing in the middle, but it really didn't do anything. Not through the Earthshaper shields, not to um, the Berserkers in the front. They are weak now. It looks like he had an interrupt on the Spirit of the Mountain. It's going to go down, but I also already expect the next one to come up. There it is. <laughs> yeah, there is yet another Spirit of the Mountain. Uh, gonna be teleported through. They're not even gonna... Um, they're not even gonna walk together for this. Ooh, Saitama has 500 offerings. He's starting to get into that territory where he himself could go for a Titan. Is he going to do it? It would take a little bit of food, as I recall. Um, yeah, 100 food is what he needs very urgently. So, uh, let's see. If, if he maybe didn't have all these scrappers, it would be possible. Really good location for them, by the way. Nobody's going to check there. Three choppers getting chopped down in just a few hits. Definitely worth doing little bits of damage like that. Saitama really struggling to build up the full population. That's where all this food is going anyways. Uh, now these pyromancers may not be the very, very best against the magical units like flesh eaters. Because they don't have resists, right? Um, it's a lot better than negative resists. Or the bone hexers who actually do have resists. Against magic even. Uh, but they do hit two or three targets depending on uh, how the clump looks. Once again, the corpse explosion hits Laventus, but he maintains his full population status. And I think for the first time in a long time, he's going to be able to actually push now that Saitama's numbers have been dwindled. There's a bunch of corpses that could be eaten up, but this Titan is going strong and there's quite a bunch of Earthshaper shields still up. I'm sure Levatus can make more of those and more Berserkers as well. Very little to do at this point in terms of upgrades, so it's really just to push. Hero does survive at 200 health. Okay, she finally goes down, so he's not going to be able to get this sector right away, but I think Levatus is more than happy to trade away with the trolls here. It's not like he's going to lose a whole lot. Good Plague Orb from the Plaguebringer, but... Saitama is still very much on the back foot and he has to play tower defense here. And Levatus is the creep. I'm sure he's gonna love this commentary when he hears it. <laughs> Anyways, bunch of, bunch of shrines of Mugwa gonna be taken down. There's quite a bit of stone in there, so um, very nice for Levatus to pick that up. Big loss for Saitama, he doesn't have all that many sectors left, not all that much stone left on the map anyway. Basically mined out all the stone mines. Hero is being remade, but at level 10 it takes a minute to get your hero, a minute and 8 seconds to get your hero back. That's a lot. I don't see a single zombie. Although, I'm pretty sure that... I'm pretty sure that upgrade is done. Let's check. Oh yeah. It's been long, long done. Well, all the scrap is now gone. Uh, now that we're upgrading everything to bone hexers. Let's see if it pays off. They don't particularly have more stats than, than the flesh eaters. And I also like the idea of making a bunch of wall breakers because they'll have the stomp ability. So I can knock down all these stunty ones. Oh, the observation tower push is beginning. There's even a tunnel exit for Levatus to be able to reinforce just a little bit faster. And he's hitting the tribe shelters and all these empty buildings that should have been recycled before. Oh boy. He's just opened up a lot of territory. The throwing camp is going to get wrecked. Not that any throwing units have been made in a long time, though. There's a Warbringer. Very helpful. It's gonna buff up all these units nearby. To 166. Um, and that's base damage. It gets a lot better once they eat. Oh, the Hierophant is in the fight. Saitama is just trying to position his stuff 
so that he can maximize the amount of units he can get out before this really begins. He does not want to use smashers at this point in the game. Might be able to snipe the Hierophant. She, she escapes with 300 health just about. Uh, Hex can probably won't make it in that Titan ability area. Oh, 81 health just about. Manages to keep it going. Just one click from one of these Pyromancers. There it is. Already gone. Titan is going strong in the middle of all these buildings. We don't need those labels. This is Saitama's last stand, ladies and gentlemen. Can he somehow pull off the Dwarven Tide? I honestly don't think so. Look at Levatos' resources. He can make another Titan after this one is gone. It's not a problem at all. He's maintaining his maximum population status. Um, and despite losing a lot of units, nice Corpse Explosion again, but... There's still so much left, even after all that. Um, Lavatus does take a turn around. Gonna lose the Titan. And I assume he's gonna pop the next... Oh, goodness. There's the next Titan! You have got to be kidding me. Another one. <laughs> okay, he's gonna walk it all the way across the map, it seems. So at least that's a little reprieve for Saitama. It gives him the chance to... Eat some corpses. Hey, he's got a level 10 Bone Hexer empowered by the Warbringer, which is excellent. 246 um, total damage. Out of that, 34 is Leech. Not bad at all. Where we go? Oh, speeding things up with the teleport. Wow. Lavatus is really done with waiting and playing games. He's upgrading his observation towers. Oh, in case he should need to retreat back into their coverage. Pre-activating the Earthshaper shields, just in case. And only a, a, a bunch of them have been activated. It's not absolutely all of them. Which is absolutely how you should play. They do cover quite enough area. So they'll all need to be active at once. See, now he's activating the rest. Make sure they stay up as the others get low on focus. Great Barrage going down in the middle of all that. Strong Heart of the Tribe probably won't last too, too long uh, for all of this damage coming in. Ay, ay, ay. The Corpse Explosion was helpful, Levatos is down to 170 pop and uh, very slowly climbing back up and uh, the units are swarming across the map as you all can see. Strong Art of the Tribe probably can't last so much longer, the hero is down and some of the last Bone Hexers have fallen summoning some zombies, Saitama gives up. Another point for Levatos on the scoreboard, uh, putting him up what? 3 to 2. Amazing. Yeah, super well played. Vaisland of Zoo seems to be his home turf now against Trolls. He's done it twice in the same tournament. Absolutely amazing from this man. Humans! Saitama! Blue! Yeah! We got Levatus on the other side in the pink. Going with the Dwarves. Hopefully the previous match didn't get cut off. We had a bit of a a bit of an OBS hiccup. Only two space for the stone. Oh no. Oh no. He can't build closer. That's that's an incline. Oh my god. Well, that's not great. So, one more win for Levatus and he takes the tournament. That's absolutely unheard of. Let's see if Saitama can indeed be bested. It would be the first time for him to lose in a tournament in essentially forever. So if Levatus can do this, it's bonkers.
I really like going for the horizontal styles. Um, that will make sure that as many Godstone as, Godstones as possible are claimed. That is probably the way to go for Levatus right now, to just upgrade the Godstone sectors and focus on those after this one, that is. Um, he's keeping the creeps. I'm not sure I like that very much. But killing that scout, definitely a good move. Then they'll meet in the middle this way. Uh, nobody has taken creeps thus far, which is very interesting. Lovato's defeated Saitama before? What? When? And it was Lovato's? I thought it was like early in the tournaments when he was still learning, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I missed one. You guys in the chat, you let me know. Curious what the next sector to upgrade will be for Lovatus. Uh, for the humans, it doesn't matter so much as you'll definitely be upgrading all of those. And you'll be the one putting on the pressure too. Oh, stealing the stealing the bag is great. Oh, <laughs> that's that feels bad. Lovatus staying on level one two. Oh man, now has to chase after a superior Wolfguard commander. So. Uh, the quicker he can get to this merchant, I mean, he's not gonna get much out of it. Two totems of power and his gold is gone. That's the thing, like, Saitama just comes in here, takes a helmet and some potions, I guess, or just a helmet. Actually can't take a helmet, would have to be three potions. It's the best he can do right now. Lovatus will not be able to deal with this worker harassment as a level one hero. Oh my god. That is way too difficult. I think it might have been okay to sacrifice a little bit of worker efficiency for a quick level two down here. And then coming back, that might have been better than this. But this extra slow attack speed and no abilities in between, it's just not gonna cut it. There definitely was time to do at least a little bit. So sure, one building would be idle, whatever, but... At least he'd be able to fix it afterwards. Now he's not able to fix it and he still gets idled. Can't say I love it. It's not like he can get anything from the merchant either. Saitama has six health potions. He can do this all day. And you bet he's not gonna give any XP to the Batus. I'm just gonna chill out here with the infantryman. Doesn't need to take any risks. Teleporting in. <laughs> what? Bringing in triple totems. But yeah, Saitama just chugs one potion and he's out of here. Still fine. There is four more potions. In the inventory. Yeah, the stone cutter is getting oh, cut down. More infantrymen have been made. And Saitama has pretty much every sector working that he uh, captured. He has one more flag coming up. So everything times out really nicely, just shows you. Um, how well Saitama plans this out. He can stick around in the base just about as long as it takes to upgrade all of those. There's still three more potions. Like, if this was a level 2 Hierophant, he would not have potions left. He would have to leave right now. Then he'd get back to work. But since he has the potions, he might as well stick around. And do some more work. Actually, he's not just get out. No upgrade on this. Only good news for Levatus is that he has got 40 stone. Which means he can build more stuff. Already got a third sector, so it's not all bad. 
but you'll need more than this. Uh, the char burner has been idle for so long, it's definitely felt. Let's see if our dwarfies can recover right now. There's a bunch of infantry and th that's more than enough to easily take down the bears. That said, Saitama is very far from level 3. I have to take down the bandits uh, before the bears. And once he's done that, two bears is level 5. I need, need another bandit camp, that is. But the going down this way, taking this one, is a pretty solid base to have. Might as well do it. Lovato just doesn't have any units. Trying to make the axe wheelers from the main, but it's gonna be a slow process. So many more infantrymen on the map. At least good job by Lovatus to try to deny some XP here. It, it, the problem is he can't kill a bear, not like Saitama can. In fact, the high hierophant is kind of struggling. Does a good amount of potions though. And gets level 3 first. That's that look at Saitama's map control. Oh my god. It's got stuff everywhere. That sector count is definitely very meaningful. Going for the dire bear soon, I assume. More than enough stuff here to make this quick. And then Saitama can do a level 5 push. Oh wait, he won't have the XP yet. Okay, that one's down. Sixty pop to twenty-five. That's rough. Here is also in the wrong spot. Oh no. She's on the high ground. Let's go all the way around here. That's not great. Tempest Golem chilling in the middle. And Saitama has easy free bears to grab. Oh my. Level 4 Hierophant, doors will have to work for this, so I think the next objective is to go down to the Storm Vibrant and take that as soon as possible. Because Saitama will be fast to level 5, he can teleport here, he can immediately attack. So if Levatus is lucky, he can get it at a similar time and also teleport back to defend. It's the way to go, for sure. Oh my god, he's already got it. This is gonna be scary. If Saitama goes home, to item up. Uh, that's that's good. That's exactly the news that Lovatos is looking for right now. Any any potential time that can be bought here is great. Because he's gonna jump to level 6. Which is great. In fact, Saitama went to the wrong spot. Uh, this is the right place. This is the iron. Not the marketplace. <laughs> Anyway, Stormbiver is gonna take a beating. Some nice lightning coming through, but we'll be biting the dust in the end no matter what. Has the helmet, has the armor. I don't think he has the weapon. Yeah, Satama does not buy the weapon. He bought potions, I think. Levantus is level 5. Don't tell me he's going one more Vibrant. That's that's bonkers. I think he's gonna teleport. 
He's got barrage and brute force level three. Oh god, oh god, the hero. He's gonna get sniped. There's no way he gets out of here. The tier post getting repaired, but there's no tier two up just yet, so it's not gonna upgrade either. Uh, you don't think that Levatos can easily hold here? If he can, that's very impressive. If he can at all, that is. Oh, the upgrade is ready to go, but he doesn't have the food. He does now. He clicks it. Could have started that a moment sooner. More units coming in. Okay, 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 okay. I think Lavatus has a hold, but look at the map. It's blue. Bada beam, bada boom. could say Levatus is in a situation. Ay ay ay. Saitama really wants that game seven, I guess. We're all gonna be here until the morning. <laughs> oh my god. Sleep is for the week. Certainly did not expect this finals to last this long. Anyways, great Earth Shatter, but also she gets knocked down. Oh, Hierophant taking so much damage, she just doesn't have her armor, I think. Uh, she's got the uh, amulet? Or whatever. No uh, resistance string. So Saitama's build, it's as usual, I guess. Uh, this time he put an extra point in deep waters and an armor. Uh, no level 4 on brute force. Interesting. Got the first Earth Shapers as well. More of them coming soon, no doubt. I like how uh, the fortified outposts are getting worked on. Levatus is starting to get there in terms of population. If he can afford uh, to kit up that Hierophant, she'll no longer be that snipable either. This is a good base to take down. I think it's actually possible to do. Won't risk it though. Shouldn't risk it. Saitama is upgrading the infantry. Not yet. That's a good barrage, but once again at the cost of the hero taking a beating. Doesn't have potions anymore, so he has to be careful. Going back to the shop is the way. It's right over... Where is it again? Is that the shop? I actually don't remember. I think so. Wow, you can't see it. That's so far away compared to all the others. <laughs> okay, armor and potions. Perfect. Should be able to do a lot with that. But still need to rally up the army and go together. Like, the population count is starting to be extremely close. Uh, Dwarven... Hunting is just something else. But it's about to run low. Very low. Curious if we'll get to see a transition into tier 3 or whether we'll see like uh, golems. For now, attacking at the fortified outpost may not be the best way to go. I certainly don't like that he's attacking it directly. Uh, I think he can take a trade thanks to the earth shapers. Which are using magic damage. Much, much better against infantry than the Axe versus uh, Strike. Great barrage on a huge amount of infantry. I like that a lot. That was great. And the uh, Wolfgang Commander kind of exposes herself into the middle of this army as well. High Hierophant hasn't had scattershot ammunition enabled for a long time, so several pickup opportunities let go here, but the base explodes. I think the Wolfguard Commander is actually at the risk of dying here. Um, definitely can keep going if your name is Laventus. This, this could be his tournament winning push right now. 
certainly committing very hard. He's got all of the barracks still working. The macro has been very solid. He's got more production structure than Saitama, who's now adding more to it, realizing the problem. The forge is getting made, uh, but he barely has any infantrymen, so it's going to be like Ardwist upgrades, which is just range. Not that meaningful. Not something you want to skip, but also not that meaningful. Anyways, Stone Pole is coming up. Uh, most of the upgrades for the dwarves are done. They've got the 6 o'clock base with a lot of iron and moon silver in it. They can keep doing this all day. It's a lot of corpses still. <laughs> that were left behind by Laventus. Population wise, we're totally even, and Arbalists don't trade that good into Axe Fielders and Earth Shapers, let me tell you. The composition of Laventus a lot more sophisticated. We're not seeing tier 3 from the humans coming in, but we do have the infantry upgrades. like to see this getting upgraded further. Saitama is spending a lot of stone right now on something. Don't know what. I assume it's a mix of iron mines and base upgrades. Yeah, he's just building a lot. Levatus has shot ahead in population to 182. Which is 155. Saitama is actually stuck. Uh, needs to make billets. One of them will finish up, but he's minus 20 stone, so right now he can't, if Lovatus only knew. But that is not something you can actually figure out as a player. It's just something that we get to see as spectators. Let me see if these uh, Earth Shapers have their upgrade. The workshop is happening. The inventor has finished the food upgrade and working on the others now. Uh, workshop will be able to get the protective shield and that is probably what he's waiting for but he's a hundred 200 population versus 155 this is the time to strike now or never waiting for the units to show up and i assume he's going to start up that upgrade and maybe even he will, he will wait for it to finish uh, grant saitama just finished up his infantry upgrades so they are tankier and hit harder as good a start as any Farm transition must be well on the way for both players. Great Earth Shatter sh um, dropping down the entire army on the ground. But still, Saitama only at 175 pop despite the extra buildings that he made. Okay, 195 maximum. Quickly filling up the ranks. It's now or never for Levatus. One of these units are still crossing the map. He's got a 200 population blob right here. Time to go. He's kind of pulling back a lot, not really attacking all that much. Okay, maybe now he's going for it. Oh, I think he's looking at an angle that he might be able to surround this fortified apples and just delete it. Bigger Shatter once again. Doesn't manage to disrupt it. And the Wolfguard Commander is actually armored enough that she doesn't care that much about the shotgun blasts. Dwarves are trading into the humans, but the humies can kind of take it, they say. Very good focus fire by the fortified outpost, by the way. Uh, on the high hierophant, that does a lot of damage for sure. We got berserkers, we got tier 3 dwarves. I'm sorry, I missed that. Uh, that's a pretty big addition, but the hero is down once again. Saitama is cutting ahead in population a little bit. Not the best fight. From our dwarf player here. Um, but berserkers should be able to equalize the situation once their numbers grow a little bit. Uh, looks like Saitama is eager to strike. Or at least pick up a berserker. Easier said than done. This thing is tanky. <laughs> Still gets away despite the slows. Alright, where is the Hierophant getting remade? If anywhere at all. Uh. Uh oh. I think it's ready to go, but Lavatus isn't making it. 
Okay, there we go. Gonna take a while to rebuild here once again. 22 Earth Shapers. This time they have their protective glyphs. Uh, you'll need a lot more farms to get this going. Bunch are being made. He's got a lot of border fortresses now. Several having farms around them. Oh, he gets to spot that. That's bonkers. His buildings can see up. Novatis will know exactly what's happening. Saitama going for the big Tempest Golem, but the Dwarven Army taking out his sector. That is probably gonna go down too. The Tempest Golem knocking down a lot of the infantry and actually getting left alone um, to get a successful teleportation in. A lot of Dwarves will die for this. Now let's see if this Tempest Golem will rapidly fully regenerate. It looks like it's just regenerating slowly. I'm not sure what happened in that other series where the golem was instantly regenerating. <laughs> this is different now. This is what I meant, that it's not all the same. Anyway. Well, this has a pretty good amount of population and it's a really high quality army with berserkers in the blob. So let's see what those can do. The hero might be picked off, however. Uh, that's a tough one with the heavy slow. Let's see if Berserkers can turn this around. It looks like the high the Wolfguard Commander might not be able to make it out of here. And the human army is certainly not capable of defeating the Berserkers. Uh, we'll have to retreat. That's a big blob of humies. They're not particularly powerful though. More and more Berserkers and Pyromancers are getting added. The Pyromancers could change the entirety of this. As they'll be doing splash damage hitting up to 5 or 6 even off the infantrymen. That is not a fight they want to take. Uh, this is a border fortress so the defenses are really solid for Saitama. But Levatus can keep pumping now forever as he's set up himself. Tier 3 is in for the humans. We've got the champions on the field. As well as the catapults, they don't de leave their fire aura behind just yet, but I'm sure we'll get there soon. Uh, Pyromancer is here. Can it do anything at all? It's not targeting anything. And suddenly Levatus has been beaten back, he just doesn't have that much population left. The Arbol is still doing a pretty good job. They're not yet upgraded for damage, uh, but they're about to be. As the Aria gathering has begun. Two, and that's it. Just a two. Uh, there's more here. There's more here, but I don't think Saitama will be taking those anytime soon. Uh, down in the Vibrant sectors as well. We've got that. Um, funny thing, this is getting moves over mine like crazy. And the dwarves don't exactly have siege at this moment, but. Anyway, we're gonna see a teleportation from Saitama, leaving behind half his army though. That's a problem, you could say. Uh, the Pyromancers will be going to town on this light infantry. Oh god, the Arbalists are taking so much splash damage. Huge issue for sure. Gotta be careful with that Hierophant though, she's kinda of getting surrounded. And she's about to get earth shattered. The shotgun blast wasn't enough for the... Uh, Wolfgard commanded to go down, but she does go down in the end, no matter what. Champion's doing a lot of damage. Hierophant just about gets away. This is a dangerous fight for Levatus to stay in, though. Those champions are fully upgraded. Well, you could still add more Wolfgard Auras. You could still add uh, the Keg Boys. What are they called again? Oh, God. Flag Bearers. I'm getting sleepy, man. See if we can get anything for this Hierophant. She's still she's got the she's got the armor. Right? She's got no weapon, which is actually a big problem. Uh scatter shot ammunition is still at level one. She can take this. Tempest Golem has barely healed since that. Only healed a thousand health. Well, that's easy enough to take down for this group. Um Saitama is actually a little bit behind in population again. So if Novatus keeps pumping, he's gonna do just fine. Tempest Golem will be defeated easily enough. Sorry for the camera mix-up. 
It's a hard angle to get. Level 9 for the High Hierophant. Did she actually pick the item? Yes, it's the Amulet of Omnipotence. That's 400 extra health. Oof, she needed that so bad. That's a lot of gold as well. And this is, gives an opportunity to the Vatus to get to a Titan. Which is actually a huge deal. The Wolfguard Commander is here for whatever reason by herself. This is a great opportunity to run her down with the Berserkers. Can Levatus get it done or does Saitama get away? He's uh, trying to reorganize himself. He's panicking. All units getting selected. Uh, getting sent through the middle. Nah, he's, he's fixing it. I think. Maybe. Teleporting across. There we go. Yeah, that's a lot better. So now Levatus' play is to go back to the middle and uh, find a better attack angle. Not sure it's going to be easy, but with this Godstone, you can teleport down here and uh, then go. That could force a teleport, then you have your teleport of your own. And that way you can get the humans out of position. See if he holds this base. Got the population for it, he's got the humans on a, on a bridge, which is a great target for pyromancers especially. I actually can't see the Wolfguard Commander. In fact, the High Hierophant is taking a lot of damage. The Wolfguard Commander is dead. So the humans can't escape very easily at all. Um, we've got a lot of fire raining down on the human army in the choke point, And I think the dwarves can just push through fairly easily. Uh, the Titan. It, we're gonna see a Titan again. Lovatus is going for it. He knows he's got the advantage economically. He can do it right here, right now. If he can get out the Titan, he might be able to take the entire tournament. All he needs is this one more win. That's it. The catapults are the only thing in his way right now. 102 population of units. Uh, he's actually counterattacking on the other side. If the catapults were to pop out, he's got the Godstone controlled essentially in terms of his presence. Um, yeah, they're still sticking behind. Let's see if Saitama notices that. He'll have to. I'm sure he can, but uh, going for the middle sector snipe here is a tall order. A little bit of resources still needed for the Titan. There's no workers in the Oblix. That's also something that needs to be fixed by Levatus. But the resources are being delivered. Oh, that's a lot of capital suit. Doesn't look like... Um, Lovatus is particularly eager to get the Border Fortress skill here. So I'm not sure what the purpose is of staying around here. Is he gonna try for the Hierophant Teleport? I'm not sure he can. He doesn't have potions! Can he actually hold the base though? Oh my god. All the resources. All the resources will be lost. <gasps> it's all in there. Oh my god! Dude, if Levatus loses his army, he's toast, man. Like, you can't give that kind of resourcing to Saitama, man. That is too much. All the resources he just delivered! That is worse than losing an army. Saitama is starting to get ahead in population. He's got a level 10 hero, the catapult spam is very difficult to stop from this position. He's taking over the center. We might see the Paragons return. Oh. All these catapults will be repaired. Brutal. I think we've got ourselves a game seven. Uh, I'm gonna make that prediction. Everyone wants a game seven, right? Except the players. <laughs> it's very late. Higher friends coming back. Let's see if they can take back this sector. Oh my god, look at that. Look at that! Oh! Saitama's resources, look at them! He's spending it faster than it goes up. That's crazy. <laughs> uh, wonder if the moon silver is still there, actually. I think. Is that moon silver? I think it is. Anyway, counterattack by Saitama is now on. Doesn't look like Levatus cares, he just wants this taken down. 
Make sure Saitama loses all these resources that he just spent. And hopefully he can at least get back to Moonsilver. Wait, Saitama teleports back in but loses several units in the in the other side. Novatus is full population. I'm not sure how committed he is to this place. But it seems like he has his level 10 hero here as well. It looks pretty good for Saitama though, I have to say. That's a lot of champs, that's a lot of mentalists. And the cap was providing that AoE. It's pretty mighty as well. Holds the base in the end. All those champions doing Tiara's work. Where are the flag bearers, by the way? Almost all the upgrades are done. Just need flag bearers at this point. Even their upgrades are done. Oh, the Wolfguard commander actually goes down. If the dwarves can keep pumping units like this to the middle, uh, it might be okay, but they don't have to underpopulation right now. The humans do. I think Saitama has finally gotten into his stride where all the buildings are fully done. He's just focusing on pumping units. Except for the middle base here. I'm not sure there's anything Lovatus can do about it. There's just too many human bases. But looking at Saitama. Got more buildings than you could ever need. But he doesn't have units pre queued right now, so if he should lose his army. That's a tough cookie, but actually the hero goes down for the Vatus. I think we are looking at a game seven. That should be a Titan getting queued right now. Uh, costs 75 iron and Aria. I'm fairly sure that will be gathered at some point. In the meantime, you could just make a handful of uh, Arbalists. Session has ended, GG is called. We are getting a game seven, ladies and gentlemen. This is completely bonkers. Levatus has almost done it. And now he's having, having to play yet another game. At least it's on his own map choice, but these guys are, they have become equals. Well, 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 if it isn't game seven and Saitama in the blue color playing humans, man, on the other side, we have got his equal. This is Lavantus playing as the dwarves. These guys have put on a great show in this whole tournament. Love it. Absolutely love it. Game seven. Never thought I would see the day where in a spell for free tournament finals we get that, especially with Saitama around. But finally, Levatus has caught up. Can't wait to see where future tournaments will take this. Move guard commander going front. Stealing the sector away from Levatus. Oh, that's a big problem. You never want to see this happen to you. Uh, probably would have been nice to take the mole rider along. To figure out what's happening, I think Saitama will just upgrade his front sector and it will be taken for sure. Uh, Levatus won't be able to go forward fast enough, I don't think, to... Even if he skips, even if he slaps the Wolfguard Commander, maybe then, maybe then, if he can get all those things done together... Oh, wait a second, he's just fighting the creeps? Wait a second, he's not gonna have the scattershot ammunition, oh man. We're in trouble. Gonna have to creep backwards now and hope for some kind of axe wielder rush uh, to take down several of the outposts of the humans. That's the only way forward. Yeah, it's too late for this. It's too late. He missed the Wolfguard commander. Oh man, oh man. Tough situation. And he's getting Stonecutter bullied as well. Not good. More Rider goes down. 
And the Humis will just get another center sector. Crazy. Even with the... Even with the second level on. Even with the Medusa pulled in. This isn't gonna work out. 75% already done. Uh, Saitama has a sector. That's it. Lavatus has to find a, a creative opening somehow. <laughs> oh, dude. His stone is getting bullied next. At least he's got level 2 this time around to have focus. That's good. But Saitama just does what he must. He's gonna fight the Medusa. Got the support of an outpost. He's probably gonna bring around the uh, infantrymen as well. And he gets potions to chug for free. Should be able to hold the sectors just fine. Don't tell me he's gonna try the Viver, and that's never gonna work out. Even with the dwarf sectors. Oh boy. I don't see it, Levatus. I don't think this is it. This is so risky. The humans just go five sectors. And they get big macro up. Oh. Such a disaster every time people lose uh, the center sectors. Very difficult to play against for sure. Medusa goes down. Level 3 is achieved by the Wolf Card Commander. She can come over here uh, to go all the way to level 4. And then just a little bit more to level 5. Like stealing the Vyvern. That would work out just fine. Scanning Force getting upgraded. This time she, uh, she has the support of triple infantrymen, so... Should be a lot easier. And we're gonna have barracks. So much to do. <laughs> oh, boof. The Vyvern, man. He's barely lost any health. What can Vatus do here? Such a difficult problem to solve. Going after the Medusas. This is not the game 7 that Levatus was hoping for. I can tell you that much. The whole thing could end in disaster, but there's a little bit of hope. If he can get that Vyvern. With his frontier post plus a handful of axe wheelers. That could go such a long way. At least he's not in the huge sector disadvantage. Dwarves can kind of recover from this with their frontier posts. They get more workers, after all. But that's enough is another story. Should be enough for them to build a handful of stone halls at least, so there is that. But the Humis already have a barracks. I think it's the only barracks? No, it's two barracks, sorry. Didn't look there. Vyvern has lost almost a third of the health. So there is hope. Level 3 Hierophant working hard. Teleport. That's a dodge. But he didn't plan that, but it works out nonetheless. Good takedown on the axe wielder for the Wolfguard Commander. That doesn't cost her that much health e either. Plus a takedown on the Stonecutter, as if the damage dealt to Levatus hadn't been enough. Come on, this is so painful right now. Of course, Saitama is just gonna leave after this. He's done his damage. Maybe he can look for that Vyvern and uh, steal a little bit of that kill. Levatus, once again, doesn't have his scattershot ammunition, so only shooting one target at a time. Satama with the teleport looking for the back sector. Is that enough for level 5? Not quite. Not 
quite. Yeah, Levatus probably doesn't want to get super crazy and take this sector. It's impossible against the Inferno Golem, after all. The flag will be destroyed. You have to loop around with the hero so many times to get that done. Uh, oh god, the sentries getting bullied. Yeah, this isn't gonna work. Very damaging to the higher fence anyway. Aye. The damage is real. And he's gonna have to teleport back here to the Stone Viber Storm Vibram because it's almost dead. Hopefully that's enough time for the flag to come up. Um, will be destroyed in just a handful of hits from the golem. Got level 4 from this, but now has to run, 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 run back. And the stone pool can only survive 3 hits. Oh, 2 hits, 2 hits. The random damage kicking in. Ouch. Right now, Hierophant doesn't have any potions. She's only level 5, as uh, level 4. Not level 5, which is what would be needed here. Awkward, and that's just a focus ring. Level 5 is gained by Saitama. He can definitely go for that Earth Shatter and Shadow Strike 2 attack. Stunning down the Hierophant and making sure she can deliver on that Earth Shatter. Population wise, though, the Vatus is looking okay for now. It's just about holding uh, these sectors. They're not that upgraded. It's a frontier post, right? It's no tier 2 yet for our dwarves. But this bottom sector is up, so there's gonna be more char, there's gonna be more food. So good recovery, I'm gonna I'm gonna say. But there's definitely a lot more left to do. Uh, Saitaba has grown a little bit big. Okay, we got a teleportation back from the higher fence. Would love to see scatter shot active. Very often in the series, Scattershot has not been on the Hierophant. Might have made the difference in several of these games. Oh god. Everybody gets knocked on her butt. This is still a decent fight for Levatus, though, like... With the Frontier Post, getting a lot of support here. And he's got level 5 as well now, Barrage should be coming in. With such a low unit count battle, I think Scattershot Ammunition 2 is even a really good option, just hitting 3 units at a time. Uh, with the Hierophant is a big deal. We got 4 Barracks, 4 Saitama. Don't think there's any more than that, but he's got tier 2 already. Our dwarves are only now working on it. A terrible base upgrade still remaining. Ooh, I don't know about this. This is very brave. Please tell me they walked. He teleported for it. This base is toast. There's no way to stop this. This base is toast. So many infantrymen. Uh, he's gonna have to walk back. Oh, so lucky that Saitama is respecting this. If he had any clue this army isn't there, he would have probably attacked the uh, frontier post, which is now fortified to be fair. Only a handful of units staying behind. Oh man. He's tried to trick him into believing nothing is happening, nothing's weird here. Stone pole now upgrading. The Inferno Golem, Golem don't care much. Three potions remain. For Saitama, he's shopping, I assume. Yeah, wedding dress and amulet. The usual. Shotgun seem to not do much damage to the Golem at all. Despite all the projectiles hitting. This thing has some crazy armor. Gotta pull back those boys. Oh, they're done. They're done, though. 
At least one of them is dead. Sandry's actually doing a pretty good job here. But now Saitama is also going for the golem on the other side of the map. Oh my goodness! Several axe users going down again. But at least Lavatus is level 6. He's got an amulet of omnipotence which will help stay alive. And he can go shopping now for better armor, for more potions. <laughs> Pushing around the merchant is awkward. Get potions and weapon. Double notification ring, okay. Doesn't need the focus ring apparently. Satama also finished. And he's got a shielding amulet and an amulet of omnipotence. That's not a great mix. I think the omnipotence amulet is actually better. Yeah, that's... Chop, chop, man. That's almost Get like... What, 15%? Something like that. It's a lot better than 6. Don't buy an amulet before you kill that thing. Not worth it, just buy potions, honestly. So now he's got this useless amulet. Okay, he put on the other one. Ah, uh, barracks has been destroyed by Levatus. This is one chance to make a comeback into this happen. Good knockdown. Gets level 7 out of it and teleports out. Which is fine. Not like Saitama can go and punish easily. I guess the engagement just restarts. Let's see how many brute force points. Oh, triple concentration. Interesting. A brute force 4. And that should be a great Earth Shadow, but once again gets the knockdown, Saitama. Uh, not looking for that kind of engagement. Barrage going through all of the Arbalists. Great work by Levatus. He's equalized the population. It looks like he can keep it like that. He's got Earth Shapers now as well, which are going to absolutely explode his population very soon. Uh, just a handful of outposts left to upgrade. And if he can keep Saitama at bay like this, that's fantastic. But as for Saitama, all he really needs is just to get those infantry upgrades and he's back in action. It's 200 extra health, there's 15 extra damage per attack for the infantry. If he can get them done. Uh, and he's working on them as we speak, just finished the forge. Uh, going up to 6 barracks as well. No problem at all with these extra sectors, gets a lot of extra iron as well, which he can then later use to go to tier 3. Population remains very equal. Ooh, good knockdowns, but this kind of invites the Wolfguard commander into the attack. Which right now will not be happening as the army is kind of splitting awkwardly. It's a frontier post now, this is now fortified, so just one more outpost upgrade left for Levatus to do. And then he'll have to start getting the population upgrade, sadly, for him. Not ideal, but it's what he's gotta do, being behind in sectors and all. Small map problems. Great barrage going down through the middle. Uh, Hierophant is pretty low, but gets a knockdown on the Wolfcard Commander. Is that actually enough damage coming through on the Wolfcard Commander to kill her? I think it is. Saitama is in a big pickle as uh, level 8 is reached by the High Hierophant. This one engagement that's coming up could decide absolutely everything. So low, that entire army is kind of weak at the moment. And, uh, Sa sorry, Vatus is going to take the opportunity to hit the other side while the teleport isn't available. This is his moment. To take over the sector of Saitama, I think, uh, is suspecting it, but doesn't really have anything to do anything about it with. So he's coming back to uh, join the Wolfcard Commander as, he po as she pops out, but by the time, this fortified outpost will be gone. There's nothing left to save. 
So counterattack was the only other play that could have been done. Um, it's not enough population as well to go after the army itself without the base protecting. At least a few pickoffs will happen here. Good job by Saitama microing that. But yeah, this is exactly what Levatos needed. Just an extra sector. <gasps> the hero isn't here. Where was the Hierophant? Where was she? She was needed right here. Now Levatos should have a lot of units popping out though. But Saitama looks like he'll gain back the sector. And now Levatos' army is split in two. But the hero is specially separated. That's awkward. Oh, don't run into the army. That would be a very bad way to lose the tournament. Well, losing at second place against the best player in the world so far. In a seven game series and the best of seven. Yeah, that's not losing. <laughs> that's just not winning. Oh, that barrage was huge. Ginormous. Hierophant having to pull back at low health. But once again, Saitama staying at low population. Several of these arborists are so low. He must be so tempted to chase. Lovatus must be. Uh, Shadow will go down, but not on that many units, actually. And I think the Wolfcard commander is in a pickle again as she gets low health. Not sure how many potions she has. Zero. That's not many. Same problem for Levatus though. He's got to be really careful with that Hierophant. We won't be seeing any close range shotgunning action, I don't think. Uh, tier 3 is in. Tier 3 is not in. So the dwarves have a huge advantage. The first Berserker should be... Oh, it's already here! It's already here, the units right now. 12 Earth Shapers. They don't have their ability yet. Well, I'm sure it's coming soon. It should be, certainly. It's not that expensive. Definitely worth it for that 20% armor. Uh, Saitama, nothing else coming for him right now. He's got a bunch of catap six catapults all of a sudden. So that fire upgrade would be essential to have. Might be the one thing keeping him alive for the next 10 minutes. Although he's got pop. And uh, those infantrymen are now upgraded. So at least that's going for him. The Arbus also have their extra 25 range. But Levatus. He has built the extra base. He's now secure. He's got 150 plus population and growing as he keeps upgrading this base and this base. Uh, you can get quite a bit more out of that. So for the moment he's not scared of anything. Um, does he have the population upgrade running? No, Inventor is just now finishing up. Very awkward on this map to go shopping. There's nothing in the middle, just a tinted obelisk here. So, oh, it's pretty awkward with that. Uh, Moonsilver Gathering has begun, I think, somewhere. Back here, maybe? What? Where is he gathering Moonsilver? It's down here. There's none in the middle. Wait a second. Why does he have minus five moves over exactly? Anywho. Finding a lot of catapults here. Human army is beelining in a line. By definition. Oh, the drill hall will be taken down, no problem. There's a keeper. Must be a misclick. <laughs> it's two keepers, two misclicks. Three keepers, three misclicks, and so on. Doesn't help against massive Earth Shaper army. They've got minus 18 magical resist next to the Wolfguard commander. Um, minus 25 without. Yeah, that's not great. Still tier 2 for the humans, but going tier 3 slowly. Levatus has got a lot of uh, population, so. This is really the time to fight, I think. Is he waiting for an upgrade to finish? Yeah, Workshop is getting the protective shield. I totally get it. Just wait for it. It's fine. The Berserkers are also not as effective like this. So definitely would like to see them 
by getting the magic axes as well. Would be a lot better if we got a great shotgun to open this battle with. Still no fire from the catapults at this number. That's a great sin for sure. I really hope Saitama is working for it for his sake. He wants to win this tournament 75%. He's kind of stuck uh, because he's trying to make too much stuff that costs stone. Wonder what that is going to be. But they just refuse to finish. Guard Commander goes in deep. Not scared of anything. Certainly not the Stunties. Oh, the Earth Shatter will be Earth Shattering. Everybody knocked down, but the Hierophant uh, doesn't take that much damage. Wolf Guard Commander sniped. And this is the opportunity that Lovatus was looking for. Finally, he's got a huge army. He's killed a lot of units, he killed the hero. Time to push. Might be able to take down several buildings, but at the very least, several catapults. Resetting that number is always important. Uh, now they're gonna have their fire attacks done soon, I'm sure. As only minus 18 stone right now. They must still need a little bit to finish that upgrade. What is Saitama building that costs this much stone, man? Okay, their upgrade is done. Look at all those fire zones. Not gonna be easy to walk into that for Lavatos. But he's got a 200 population cap. Protective glyphs are in. Enchanted axes are in. And the only thing missing is the pyros. Once those start getting added, Saitama is in for a really tough time. At least until he transitions into full tier 3 armies. The Arblitz will just melt to the Pyromancers. This is the time to strike Levatis. Maybe a little bit of a bigger spread. He's got it though. He's got the big spread. He sandwiched his entire army. Which needs to maintain that spread. Oh wait, the hero. Okay, let's not push without the hero. Good point. Good point, Levatis. I'm glad we had this discussion. Wait, he's got 500 more iron here? What? Get out of here. <laughs> That's bonkers. Alright, Dwarf's happy to wait. Uh, but every moment Levatis waits, Saitama gets more population himself. Then again, this army heals, so... I guess that counts. Any tunnel plays? Any uh, dropship action? No? For the finale? A little bit of memes? No? <laughs> okay, let's do the big fight then. Humans don't need memes. Almost everything they can do is good. Oh, that's a that's super important knockdown. That hero is not getting out of here. A weakening bomb? Dude, Levatus. He wanted that snipe. He was planning this. He saw the future. The prophecy is true. All that stuff. Saitama at 100 population and dropping. I think this is the moment. This is the time we were waiting for this whole... I don't know. Three years of spell for three versus multiplayer with the trolls in. Levatus really looks like he can take the championship right now. The entire league belongs to him. He's even got guard totems for himself. The man's bonkers. <laughs> He's taking down Saitama's base. Saitama cannot rematch from this. He's lost yet another support garrison. No catapult spam for him here. Barely has any resources right now. So what little units he'll be pumping will be running into the open arms of Levatus' 200 population army with Berserkers, with Pyromancers. This is spooky business. All these buildings will be belonging now to the Dwarf economy. 
significantly boosting it as he buys his base. Basically, the whole thing is paying for itself. Now what Levatus needs to do is heal up and go. Or just not heal up and go. That's also good. Sorry for the squeaky chair. Whoops. Gotta oil that thing. Anyway. Trail Hall getting deleted. That's yet more production gone from Saitama, which he so desperately needs. That's the problem with falling behind in population. It can snowball so fast. You just lose a base, you lose even just buildings. is very meaningful. Uh, Try to take down the high Hierophant, but Lovatus quickly pu pulls her back. The several protective Glyph Auras, which the Hierophant can benefit from weakening, make sure that the uh, champs get taken down. There's not many champs left on the map at all. Uh, Saitama right now on just four champs and three catapults and 15 obelisks and a dream. We've got Commander, of course. She never die. Minus 27 food for Lavatus. He's starting to get a little poor, I must admit. Uh, a little bit of stone is still available in the main base. Somehow, some way. Uh, don't see it. I guess that. That piece of rock. Man's overbuilding a bit, but there's more stone coming in anyway. Um, not from here. Anyway, going for the big pressure. Once again, the Wolfguard Commander gets knocked down, shotgunned. Dude, she could be, she could take a beating. Uh, the weakening bomb misses, but the Hierophant is level ten, fully kitted out. Take a quick look. Four points in Breath of Vitality. So they almost almost has 4,000 health. Lavatus just keeps going in deeper. Trying to snipe that Wolfguard Commander. Almost able to do it. I think if this remaining group goes after her, he can actually get it done. She's pulling away hard. Uh, can the Magic Axes actually get her? Oh, 200 health. 150. I think she's dead. Potion gets shot last possible second. Can she get away from this? I think so, maybe. The Arbis, however, are stuck on the far side of the base and 100 health on the Wolfguard Commander. Oh my god, she's going down, isn't she? She's able to pull through. Able to pull through. Saitama on 29 population, 30 pops. Uh, just barely holding this border fortress, getting repaired as much as he can. Only cost some wood, right? So... It's all good, but the hero goes down to the next hit. He has to get her back. I don't think Saitama can stop the tide now at this point. GG, well played. Congratulations, getting typed by Saitama. Something we never see him type. Because he's usually the one winning, but Lovatus changing everything up. He's writing history, and it's gonna be in his words, as you all know how that works. Congratulations to him, taking home $200, defeating Saitama, being the new champ? For now? Forever? We will see. We want to thank our MetaPlace website subscribers. Your contribution helps us keep the project sustainable. As we reach higher subscription goals, you are helping us cover more and more behind-the-scenes costs, such as video editing. Check out our subscription page using the link in the description, and remember to collect your perks. We will see you the next time.